Get your tickets now at curling.ca. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us here. We're at the RA Center in Ottawa. I'm Kyle Jans from Curling Canada. Joining me here, Brian Cochran. Pleased to have him, 2019 World Senior Gold Medalist. Brian made the trip with you to Stavanger, Norway. What a trip that was. What a shot you had to win that game. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, that, first of all, Norway was a lot of fun. Winning was a lot of fun, and uh, having a, a second chance at the Senior Worlds was, was uh, special. And, uh, yeah, the last shot, I have to admit, uh, I know myself, I've watched that on YouTube or whatever, wherever it is posted, I've watched it uh, probably about 500 times. So I'm, uh, my team, we, we joke about how many times we've watched that, and uh, it was a lot of fun to win, and I know, you know, we had quite a few fans there with us yes. too and uh i think we uh we we proved that we could uh compete at that level and uh it was a real treat i have to admit it was it was fun it, it was a beautiful angle raise and an extra end to win against scotland i believe yes yes Act, we'll f be able to put out the link there if, if you haven't seen it already definitely give it a look on youtube I could talk about that all day, but we're here for another very big game. We are in the AB final of the Canadian Pre-Trials direct entry event. We have two teams here that have been the top of the field, the cream of the crop, if you will. We have Team Gary Galusha from the Yellowknife Northwest Territories. She qualified through the A event, got to this spot. Up against here, Jesse Hunkin from the Twin Rivers Curling Club in North yeah, Battleford. Only one loss for this team, which was against Galusha in the A-side final. They qualified through the B-side, and here they are now after a win against uh, Caitlin Jones's team from Assiniboine, Manitoba. Winner of this game gets that coveted spot, the first of two spots available in the Home Hardware Curling pre-trials coming up in Liverpool, Nova Scotia at the end of October. So a lot to play for. But the loser here will have a second chance. They will get a chance yeah. to play the winner of the C event, which is happening yeah. right next door here to us. Game between Jill Brothers of like Halifax and Caitlin Jones. And Kyle, that, that first game that uh, they yeah, played the played against each other, it was a 6-5 final. So that was a real battle. And we can expect another battle here. Yes. Yes, they have another chance if they happen to lose this game. But trust me, they don't want to... Uh, they don't they don't want, want that experience they want to do it right here today absolutely want to get things over with here be able to sleep a lot easier tonight with that and as we get started here it looks like uh, teams are looks like both teams are going to be pretty happy with running the rocks here playing yep. into the rings right away play it into the rings and they'll just hit and yeah, we're close. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. so this is Dana Demiers throwing the first rock, throwing a hit. Plenty of curling here going on. Four events total between two genders, the pre-trials direct entry, as well as the trials direct entry. We had our first qualification, as a matter of fact, this last draw. You witnessed it right here on Curling Canada's YouTube page. Casey Scheidegger yes. and her team from Lethbridge, Alberta, yes. playing an yes. excellent game yes. against yes. Corinne Brown and securing a third yes. win in the yes. round robin. Very comforting for that team to get it, like you had said, Brian. Don't want to be having to play in the final day to be qualifying for something that. And you can see the, the start of this game being pretty cautious. Hunkin's team threw it in, and uh, Galusha's team, they. You know, instead of throwing guard, they're just happy to uh, hit and hopefully blank this first end and, you know, take the hammer and into the second end and go for some points there. That's what a lot of the teams are doing. And Certainly some scoreboard management in regards to that too. Having that coveted hammer in the even ends goes a long way as well. Throw here. Here and here. Between here. I mentioned the Seaside final that's happening next door to us on the women's side. There's also a Seaside final on the men's side that's happening. We have Sean Grassi of Winnipeg 
up against Corey Chambers of Winnipeg. Chambers in a, in a very close game this morning against JT Ryan, but lost that B-side final, so they dropped down to the C event. JT Ryan, meanwhile, did qualify through that B-side, as well as Vincent Roberge from uh, Quebec, who did that earlier on yesterday. So those two teams are going to be battling it out tonight for the first pre-trials men's spot that's available through this event. Keep you updated on those games as we head on through. It's good. Nine five. This is Rebecca Hebert. Filling in with this team, you'd recognize this as uh, Robin Silvernagel's team. Robin recently having a a child and so she's Come taking some, some time off for family bonding and for being able to enjoy that experience. A little hit and roll out here by the Hunkin team so uh, Carrie's gonna call a little tight uh, corner guard and yeah. and maybe maybe play for a two here. That's Margot Fleming throwing that corner guard attempt here. How close to the rings do they want this? Uh, just two or three feet uh, out front. They don't want a long guard on this ice is, is not very good because you can, with with draw weight or back eight weight, you can get around anything that's long. So a nice tight guard. And Hunkins just going to peel it off, and she's she's basically playing for the blank or hoping that uh, Joanne Rizzo hits and sticks with her last rock. So, and you know I I said earlier that. This is a little uh, cautious, but the teams want to make sure the ice is uh, broken in all across the sheet. It's by far the biggest game of this early 2021-22 curling season that either of these teams have had. I expect a, a good a good game here. They. They will probably uh, get a little more aggressive here in the second end. That uh, you know, they know the ice. That both both teams are obviously curling well, so they have they have confidence. Both teams certainly riding momentum into this event. The Galusha team had adjusted their schedule after learning that they'd be in this event in Ottawa. Came down to Ontario about three weeks ago to get some some reps in and play in some tour events. Ended up reaching the uh, the okay. semifinal in a bond spiel out in uh, at the Stu Cells Classic, as a matter of fact, out in Oakville. And then they played in the KW Fall Classic out in Kitchener Waterloo as well, and okay. won that event just the week one week ago, essentially. So they're coming in with a lot of momentum. So there's the nose hit that uh, Carrie Galusha was hoping for. So she'll come around this and uh, work on it on scoring a deuce. No, not much. We didn't touch it. A little more ice. It's, uh, Good opportunity here for the team Galusha. They've already had a rock rock or two down this path, so they're probably feeling pretty confident now. Sarah Colton with eight Canadian Junior Women's appearances, tied for a Canadian record. No one else has ever curled more. She curled those out of the Yukon Territory, born in Whitehorse. Perfect. Tucks that away really nicely, not too deep. Yeah, we, we heard we heard Carrie yelling not too deep because if it gets in behind the T line, then the Hunkin team will just freeze on it, and then uh, you know Galusha's team will be forced to one. So really nice judgment there by the front end, and uh, I would say it's open from my angle here. It's open by maybe an eighth of a rock, and uh, she'll be playing uh, probably hack weight and. Uh, Letting it curl in just just enough to tap the rock out. Not an easy shot early in the game. Definitely not what you want to be facing first end, but uh, Jesse Hunkin up for the test. Team only lost one game so far at this event, and that was to Galusha, so this is a rematch. 
she otherwise. Must, she must feel pretty confident with this ice because I'm surprised they're not throwing the run back. They just threw a perfect run back in the previous shot, so they saw the ice and uh, runs pretty straight there with weight. But I like the confidence that she's showing. Anyway, that's, that's a good sign. Let's see if it pays off. Needing the curl from Dana Demers. Close. She's got it. Real nice shot. A lot of confidence from Jesse Hunkin with a great shot. Rolling that shooter out to the back 12. This Hunkin team, four games played, they had a 6-5 loss to Galusha. But here's their wins, Brian. They, they've had a 12-2 win against Lauren Mann. 11-2 against Laurie St. George, 11-3 against Caitlin Jones. Wow. So they've they've got lots of confidence and they must be making lots of nice shots. And, and you know what? Just seeing that last shot, first shot in the in this big game, and she does that. It's like wow, I'm impressed. Now Joanne's going to have to hit this and stick, or uh, Hunkin could draw around that corner guard and force Galusha to one point one point here. Grooms down the entire way here. Needing it to stick around. Just oh. touches. The difference an inch makes. Certainly a close one, but it works out for Joanne. You two are great. Sarah said it was just a hair down, so I went on it. So Jesse will just uh, throw a nice easy hit here and hit, try to hit the nose and force uh, force Joanne Rizzo to hit and roll out for the blank. Certainly seen our share of blanks, but also a couple that have stuck around and especially this early on might not know the path, so we'll have to see how this plays out. But Otherwise, I think after Jesse just making that stellar shot that she just made, this open hit should be should be no problem or very little problem. Lots of rotation on this. Keep it straighter. Just rolls out though. Would it would have been very nice to be behind the cover there, and that could would have been an exceptional shot. So Joanne's just going to take a spot in the ice uh, that she might need as a skip later on in the game. Uh, get a feel for how much it's going to curl. She'll throw. She'll probably. Th she'll probably throw a nice board weight shot here and just uh, put it in the memory bank for later in the game. Joanne Rizzo joining this team two years ago has competed at two Scotties Tournament of Hearts with the ladies from the Northwest Territories as well. Good job. Every year they're getting better and better, always approaching that championship pool and being right on the verge of it. This Northwest Territories team had a big game. It was the first single sheet game that we had had in, in the bubble in, in Calgary and it was Kerry Galusha versus Rachel Holman. Silence all around, you can hear everything down on the ice. It could be pretty unnerving, but Kerry Galusha won that game, defeated Ontario's Rachel Holman. First time that she had done so in her career. So I think Joanne brings a, a lot of a lot of leadership and a lot of solidity in that that fourth rock role. No, no doubt about that. No, I've seen Joanne curl quite a bit, and uh, she's she's really good. Understands the game really well. Understands her own game. It's also a 2013 Tim Hortons curling trials silver medalist runner-up. She was curling with Sherry Madaw that year in Winnipeg losing to Jennifer Jones in the final. So has that experience, knows what it takes to get to that pinnacle of the sport. And has an opportunity to guide a, a team here from the Northwest Territories, a team from the Northwest Territories that has never qualified for a pre-trials or a trials event. So yeah. an opportunity to make history here for Kerry Galusha and the team. Dana Demir's here again. Throwing the lead rock. Yeah. 
again, the ice, the ice looks great all across the sheet. And, uh, you know, as a skip, it's just great. Once you know you, you can go anywhere, you can make any shot, you can call anything, it's a, it's a really good feeling. Are we hitting that or? We can hit that if you want and then throw. Yeah. Right. Good weight. Is that top eight? All right, so let's take a look at the hit weight here. Kerry Galusha has been dealing with uh, what's to believe to be a, a herniated disc injury, has been taking a lot of physio during the off season here oh and leading into the season. Yeah, you gotta go, Margo. Gotta go hard. And as said, her hit weight yeah. isn't necessarily yeah, there, but they've been managing hard. it. Right to it. Right up, right up. Gotta go all the way, all the way. Don't Whoa. stop, don't stop. Watch the roll. Sit, sit, sit. Sore back and curling don't, don't go very well together. Definitely don't, but <laughs> she's been committed to this. Came down three weeks ago, three weeks away from family and friends and her job out in the Northwest Territories in Yellowknife. Really committed <laughs> to this process. I split far. You almost held that. Well, Joanne was willing to call the guard there, but uh, carry out ranks her, I guess, and change the call. Mine's good. Good. Yeah, we only hit. Top eight. We didn't hit. Uh, Mine's good. I think it just curled up Top at the eight. end. You're tracking right now. Because I thought we were actually hitting just off nose. Starting to curl and now. going. So we'll see Jesse Hunkins' team bring one into the rings, aiming for the top four foot. Would like that one to stop there, ideally. And that's back now. Yeah. Same. No. Nice shot. It's you know a couple of feet, a uh, couple of feet too deep. One more for me. Yeah. So we're going with the corner guard here. Yeah. Yeah, the weight was same, I think. Nothing wrong with this strategy. Really? It's, uh, you know, it's one less rock yeah. and play, and right the early in the game, there's no sense getting uh, right too aggressive Keep on if right you're not over. comfortable. Looks really good. Stay on it. Yep. Take a look. Looks Half really way, good. Not Just too clean. Deep. Half way. Just clean only. This Hunkin team very really much nice. in that 6-5 loss okay. in the A-side final. Galusha was just able to capitalize on some mistakes, and that was yeah, the biggest really difference. A light draw from Hunkin at one point resulted in a steal of two, and they were able to ride that momentum into the win. So limiting those yeah. mistakes will be a key here for the, the Hunkin team. Key for both teams. It's going tend to be how you win a curling game. Just going to throw a tight guard here. Looks like it's going to overcurl a little bit, maybe. So it's a little off the center line, so a bit of a corner guard for, for Galusha's team in the end. Real good opportunity to take advantage of potential mistake, potential error. Really important here to get a little roll and keep your keep your shooter in the in the rings. Go Fleming here. Hard. Hard to get it by. Hard, Joe. Needing to get it by, okay, does so. Okay, 12. It's a little tight. Well, I would say that's a good option. Uh, puts a little bit of pressure on the Hunkin team now. Pack, yep. Weight was pretty close. But I imagine with some hack weight here, it should bend in pretty nicely and hopefully take that one out and maybe get a little bit of an inside roll. Dana Demir is trying to cur go, 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 carve this one in. See that the, the weight the weight call is, is really important. Like that that was a perfectly thrown shot with just board weight. It gives the rock a chance to curl once it's past the guard. If you if you up the weight, you know, another ten feet of weight, the, the rocks will really run straight here. Trying to 
to sneak this one by. See a good example of that directional sweeping there. Joanne holding it out just to get it by the guard and then Sarah finishing it off with the last few strokes of the brush. And they got an inch or two a roll inside, so you know it's pretty good shot making so far and Hunkin has another Hunkin team has another tough shot here. Kristen Streifel here. He didn't get by the guard. It will. Another really nice release on that shot. And, uh, Streifel, no stranger to highly competitive games. The 2017 Canadian Junior Gold Medalist representing Alberta, Skip, went on to win bronze at that year's Fresh. World Juniors. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Joining this team recently me. after oh. the Silver Nagel team okay. made a few personnel yeah, changes and now yeah. aiming yeah. to qualify for a spot to the pre-trials. So Sarah Colton can't get around this one. Okay, Sarah. And that opens up the house and the center line. Okay, so just a little different release, just a little softer release. They, they didn't pick up on it early enough, and uh, the weight was perfect. But once it gets close to that center line, it'll it'll cut over with that weight. All about that positive rotation. I've been talking to Carrie earlier in the week, and. She says they're a team from the north. They think the there's no expectations for them, no pressure on them. They're just enjoying their time out here, and they're taking the positive out of it, is that they never get a chance, as North the Northwest Territory team, they never get a chance to practice on arena ice. So this is a huge opportunity for them. No doubt about that. And I, I think you, you would say there are a lot of teams across the country, different parts of the country. You know, I see young teams... Uh, they just they just need the opportunity uh, you know to get out there and play and like and uh, you know I had a chance to play in uh, PEI a couple of years ago and you know they've got some good young teams there but they they just they need the experience out on arena ice and um, with sharper rocks and more curl and so I would say there are a lot of teams that are going to benefit from like this facility mm. I'm really hoping. Uh, I'm hoping for good things here with with curling and this facility. Absolutely yeah. huge for Ottawa to have this. The rocks that you bring up, that's a good point too. I've had the privilege of being able to throw some of these rocks and it's amazing how accurate you have to be with hits because rocks that you use at the at the curling club where you hit it maybe half, three quarters, you, it'll stick around. But if you don't hit it right and you hit it similarly with those rocks where they're so sharp there, they're not sticking in the house. Well, it's also, you know, it's on the release, too, with a little extra rotation, will keep the rock straighter. If you throw these rocks soft or into the broom, they'll take off on you, end up on the other sheet sometimes. Even there, I was like, whoa, and then it's curling. So Hunkin team still counting one here. Yeah, I didn't realize what we were doing there. I called the double. I said it was too late. I know that now. Oh, sorry. I did tell you guys. Yeah, just that you were saying a couple options. I didn't know. No, and then I said it's too late. Let's play this. Just trying to hit this and roll on on top. Make it a tough double for the Galusha team. Normal. I wouldn't call that. Ideally, looking to force Galusha into taking a single point here. Gets the hit, but does not get the roll that they were hoping for. That one really hung out on them, it looked like. Again, just that little extra weight, it's not going to curl up to it. You, you think it's going to because you see so much curl with the quieter weight, but once you pump it up like that, it just, okay, it's just not going to. Control. She threw it pretty well. It just uh, just 
So a good opportunity in this cat and mouse game to for Carrie Galusha and Joanne Rizzo throwing the last rock to remove this hunkin' one out. Sweeping hard right out of the release. Needing to hold it. Clips it. But not enough. It sticks around in the wings of the back 12. Yeah. yeah. Joanne admits it wasn't a good throw. She just rolled She just rolled that in. And as I said just a minute or so ago, once, once you roll the rock in, it really goes. Hunkin now with a great opportunity to split the rings, put one in behind cover. And an opportunity to force Galusha into one point. Jesse Hunkin played second for Robin Silvernagel at the 2019 Scotties Tournament of Hearts. They were in Moose Jaw, so in her home province. Great opportunity, lots of fans, lots of media out at that event. It's good for a young player like that to be able to chalk chalk up that experience and every you know, every event you get to play, you you learn a little bit more and you get a little more confidence. Something you can rely back on, thinking, you know, you, yes, as a team, you've had this this positive feeling, positive experience, and you kind of have to rely on those on those thoughts when you have a, a big shot or a big moment, you know. It's kind of like the process of learning how to learning how to win consistently. Nice shot by Jesse. Joanne's just going to ignore that and uh, draw the forefoot. She would have taken this this path in practice. That's what she's thinking right now. She probably threw three or four of these shots in practice. She's just going back to that memory bank and saying, okay, lay it out there, let the sweepers put it on the forefoot. So much to do with that muscle memory and the kick out. But nothing more than just a pregame draw to the button here. Brooms down from Margot Fleming and Sarah Colton. Take a look. Can you please look? I got a high time. Brooms down all the way. And this one. Wow. Slides through for a steal of two, Brian. Wow, that's a big, uh, big turnaround there. And the sweepers thought it was good. They were, they were dusting it all the way down, but it just slid through there. The ice is fast. You have to trust it. This was really fast. Surprising outcome here as Carrie Galusha gives up two. Jesse Hunkin taking a two-point lead now. Great momentum for the team from North Battleford, Saskatchewan, heading into the third end here. I guess I should have yelled it's running, but I didn't want to yell that a hundred times. Someone said that. No, I did. I told you the whole way that it's not moving. Yeah, I got a really high time. Caitlin Jones has a one-point lead over Jill Brothers in the, after the first end. They're in Skip's Rocks right now. And then also looking over at our men's seaside final. Corey Chambers has a one-point lead, one-nothing lead, rather, in the second end over Sean Grassy. Both those games just in their skips rock, so we'll have another update soon. Of course, you can always check out curling.ca slash scoreboard. We have all the latest scores and results and standings that are available right at your fingertips, all being updated in real time. So what should the strategy be now for this uh, this Hunkin team that just had a, a great opportunity to pick up two? Well, you know, this is a situation that uh, you want to be defensive, 
but you look for an opportunity to put more pressure on the on the Galusha team because the Galusha team they're you know they're not happy with what what just happened they missed a big shot uh, and it's just the momentum it's a sort of a uh, mentality thing of you know if you can just add that little extra pressure because there's a little bit of negative energy on the Galusha team right now not much but just you know just a little bit and if you have a chance to put that pressure on Hunkin will do that but initially it'll be you know pretty defensive and and uh, not get too messy she's got a two-point lead but and Joanne's gonna throw the guards up obviously and go for a, go for a multiple score here but as I said earlier today I, this is the situation where you know Joanne just missed that shot and, and you don't feel that good about it and, and you, you don't want to put that big pressure on this end you, you want you really should try to Make sure the score of one, you get two, great. Any more than that would be great, but be real careful here. Still seven ends to play in this one, so Absolutely. lots of opportunity to make it up. Absolutely. And Joanne's got lots of experience. I, I don't expect that to happen, but I, I've seen it happen, and I've done it too many times. I could write a book about it. How many times? <laughs> i got to get them thinking, like, oh, why, why are we in this mess already? It's so early in the game. <laughs> Hunkin team is looking for a, a tight guard here, indicating that it might be a little heavier than what they thought. That one just doesn't quite get over. Doesn't cover it. Oh, Joanne's decided to go in behind the guard. I thought she might uh, come around out, turn and tap that, that red one off the forefoot, but it's still early in the end, so she wants rocks and play. Early in the end, perhaps wanting to play to Galusha's strengths here as well. Margot Fleming and Sarah Colton getting a big scrub on this one. Really good. Really good. That's a real nice shot. Tucked away very nicely, obviously getting first shot. Not not a not an option on this one, but that's one that they can save away for later and hopefully turn into a generate a multi point uh, end. Punkin hoping to add on to the pile here of guards. Another center guard. Halfway. You gotta get it. You gotta get it to my broom for line. To your broom. Broom for line. Finish. Yep. Yep. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's a nice shot. Now the uh, Galusha team, the, they'll just try to clean this mess up a little bit. They've got one buried in behind the guard, so. It walked right over there. They would like to keep the shooter around as a corner guard as well, if they could. Certainly an option here for Margot yeah, Fleming. Yeah, we're trying to get it. Oh, okay. Trying to keep it straight. It's a little tight. Okay. Good. Good sweeping. Not bad. Nice double. Clips it. Does leave that Thank you. center guard, though. So Jesse Hunkin here asking Rebecca Hubert to throw about a hack waiter to aim for that one that's in the top 12, curling it around the corner guard. Pro side miss on this would obviously be to hit that corner guard as well and clear it open. That's a good call. You don't want to get too messy here, be being up 2 nothing. They, they've seen the shot a few times. Wow, great shot. Reminds me very much of what Jesse Hunkin threw in the first end going this way that's, on her very first shot. That's that's pretty good curling right there. Yeah, 
Sunken team looking yep. dialed yeah. in. It's a tough shot here. It's uh, half buried, and you don't want to hit, and you don't want to rub off and roll it to the open. You want your yeah. your rock yeah. to stay in play here. Bye. All the way, all the way. Go, go, go. Good. It's a real nice shot. Gets that right on the beak. Just the perfect way to let it draw once it gets past the guard. Hunk and team will try to repeat the same thing they just saw. Kristen Streifel once again. Needing this one to carve in. Clips it in a little bit more behind cover. Yeah, just a half inch wider than the than the other one in it. Just a big difference. An opportunity for Galusha and her team to get a little more aggressive here now with that one nicely tucked away. And they have an opportunity to put a second one, top eight foot around. Big shot here. You don't want to go too deep. You don't want to, you don't want to give uh, Honkin a chance to freeze to something at the back forefoot. Just want to be top eight, three quarters buried would be great. Can't be heavy. Sweepers calling T line. Maybe back. Let it work. Got to stop. 15. Good. Puts it right on the pin. So there is one hunk and stone out there front. And it looks like we're going to be seeing this one driven in. Yeah, this is the right call. They're up 2 nothing. You don't want to give up a 3 or 4. And you've got a chance to run this straight back. Do you like it here more? Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh! Calling hard on the sweep. Great shot. Wow. Wow. Great shot from Kristen Streifel. Run back double really changes the composition of this end now. See the importance of Galusha's last shot of two feet too heavy. Huge difference. Now we see Sarah Colton playing inside out towards the hunk and stone. Around the corner guard. Wow, another great shot. Good, Sarah. Very nice. Both teams dialed in. 11 2. I thought she threw it good, but I heard her. Two great shots from Sarah Colton this end. Yeah, So, Jesse Hunkin here, attempting to freeze, and looks like they'll try and limit carry to one. Yeah, if she can freeze here, you know she's thinking, how does how does Joanne score too? If if she makes a nice freeze here, again, better short than heavy. If you're a little bit short, you can maybe use it on the next shot. But if you're heavy, you're in jail. Yeah. Um, very rare. Line's good. Line's good. 
Jesse Hunkin hoping to lock this one in place. Needing it to curl. Not touching it. We see it sail right by into the back 12. The ice is pretty slick right now. It's uh, just watching Jessie throw, throw that rock. Her, her push out from the hack is gentle. The release is gentle and it's still flying down the ice. That's quick. When the ice is this fast, you really have to concentrate on how, how much am I gonna push out from the hack? You know, and what's my release going to feel like at the hog line? You really have to think about it. If the ice is, uh, you know, eight, ten feet heavier, it's you can get away with a little more <laughs> push and let the sweepers take it. But when it's this fast, it's uh, it's it's tricky. It's hard. It's hard as a skip or a player to th throw that quietly and say, "Okay, sweepers, you take it down there." But We've seen a couple of those instances of Tevi draws, including one from Joanne Rizzo last end. They, they jumped on this for line, but it looked like it was out there far enough. It looks, looks pretty good. Trying to finish this one in. That's a pistol. That's a pistol. Great shot from Joanne Rizzo here. Ice conditions all week, been very good. John Wall, chief ice technician, providing these athletes with the best ice possible. Dealing with a lot of precipitation and humidity in the city here of Ottawa in the past couple days that had to be managed and maintained. You can see the frost developing on many of those ga games. Don't see it as much here. It's looking like it's really good and obviously very fast as no, we've been yeah, seeing. No, it's not a factor at all. You, uh, you can play anywhere on the sheet right now. You can yeah. put the broom down anywhere and it's not, not affected. Uh, she's in big trouble here. They're talking about uh, maybe getting enough to tap it out. But hey, you're up two points. Just make sure they don't get three. And how do you do that? You just freeze to the top of the, the shot that Joanne just threw. And then uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's a shot for Joanne to get three then. A little. Certainly a matter of limiting the damage. Jesse Hunkin now will get an opportunity to throw that path again. Should be familiar with the weight. But you're absolutely right, Brian. Just watching them push out, they're they're not putting any any muscle into it whatsoever. It's a real gentle throw. Not taking much ice here. I'm, I'm yeah. a little bit surprised at how little ice they're taking. Unless she's really going to straighten this. Yeah, she uh, she gives that a good little straightening action. I like that. So more rotation and more with that rotation as well. and just. Straighten it back so it stays straight for the first 20 feet. Dana Demers carving it in. And again, just a little too much weight. Okay, Joe, same thing. Do you want a little more? I had here. Where are we close to the guard? No. So yeah, you can see where Galusha's putting her broom down compared to where Hunkin did, where it looked like a good good few inches inwards oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. easily in the eight foot there so quite a big difference obviously they're taking a little bit more ice here too because they don't need to contend and get too close to that guard yeah joanne doesn't straighten the rock like uh, jesse does so so jesse's just going to have to tone that down a little bit you know she's she's popping that and and uh, the, uh, the rocks is flying down there joanne rizzo with a shot for three. Good lines really good. Yeah. Oh, 
don't know about that. Looks good. Oh, the wedding straighter. No. Yeah, the call then. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Nice Great shot, shot from Good Joanne out. Rizzo. It's a count of yellow, three. So after giving up the steal of two, Galusha and her team bounce back for a 3-2 lead after three ends here in this A-B qualifier match. A ticket to Liverpool, Nova Scotia for the home hardware curling pre-trials on the line. Two real nice shots by Joanne there. That freeze on her first one, you know, made the three and after that uh that shot in the second end where she came a little heavy it's a it's a real nice bounce back and uh you can just you can just look at the team and listen to them now you know like the positive vibes you know the, the curling the momentum swings back and forth so much really is there is a, a, a little element of, of frustration amongst the the Galusha team after that second end and it's, it's a night and day difference as they as they discuss Hunkins team though while they did give up the three nothing to be discouraged about as they did get off to a good start here absolutely if you if you uh, uh, had a crystal ball before the game and you said you were down one play in the fourth with hammer You'd be okay with that. Doesn't matter if it's one point, two points, or yeah. it ends. It's I mean, all the same. You'd rather be up by six or seven, but <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. Carrie Galusha with the opening stone here. <laughs> Might be a little light. <laughs> so they're calling it in, and they're going to. Uh, let Hunkin put up the corner guards. And Fight the four. Full four is good. Full four. You're losing line, so you got to go. Okay, just full four, though. Easy. Good. Good eyes. Nice one to the top four foot. And Hunkin will play corner guard here, looking to generate some, good, some offense. Having Hammer for the first time in this game as well. And that True. Is early again. I don't know if Joe told you guys that though. Um, I didn't want to yell. Okay. I think it's all there. Yeah, Got room? Tight. tight. Line's good. Starting to curl now. Halfway. Line's good. Becca's, Becca's were off if anything. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so let's aim for tight, not in. Okay. I'll give a little left. It's a nice spot for that guard. Yeah, not in, Joe. No. Yeah, that road on center for quite a while. Very nice. It was patient, but then it walked over there. Let it work a bit. Line's good. Now you don't want this guard to be very this long, as I said earlier, that if, you, if this good. stays out too far, then uh, the Hunkin team will just use that as a guard for themselves. Yep, all the way, drag it! Yep, Margo, drag it! Finish it! Finish it! Finish it! Really needing it to curl over here. Looks nice. Well done. Really good. I actually thought we were going to over curl. Good. Good, Joe. I thought we were going to over curl that at first. I think the first one curls more. Oh, 100% it does. Yeah. It's good yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. It's like a, like a two inches. Did you tell them when it started? Yeah. Yeah. So it looks okay. like we're going to see a tick shot in play it's here. That one well, that Dana Jameer's throwing and hoping to get that tick off and maybe get it in behind cover there from that corner guard in the red. Yeah. Uh, another strategy uh, that a lot of people use is just to come around your own guard and put one in the house and. Uh, and then uh, the Galusha team would have to deal with that somehow, and then and then Hunkin could go up and uh, clean off the center uh, with the next drop. But uh, if this works, it's uh, you know it's a it's a good call. You just have to be careful that you're not making all the hard shots all the time, and leaving the easy ones to the other team. 
Very precise shot here. It's nice. nice. Great shot. Turned out real nice. I, lo I love that shot. A lot of fun to watch. Right up, just off center. Sets up three perfect corner guards now for yeah. the Hunkin team as well. Very advantageous. Nice. This is what I don't like as the opposing skip without hammer. I'm like, <laughs> oh, look at all the corner guards. You know, if you if you miss one more shot here, then it's okay, don't jump it. the advantage don't for the other team. It, Two, three. <laughs> no. Sarah. You're going to have to really go to get it over to center. Hard. Keep going. Keep going. Even if it's tight. Keep going. Go, go, go. Oh, go that's go, great go. sweeping. Good. Didn't think that was going to come enough. Nice and tight. Wait, Manages to, to get it over that center line. Oh, I see it is open. Still, still a little bit poking out there. Yeah, We've seen a few successful hack waiters from Rebecca Hubert so far in this again, game. Again, the, the weight here is so important that you really want your rock to stay in play. Even if you kiss the front guard, let it roll into the top 12. But you, you don't want to lose your shooter here. We're going to see if this is going to happen. So it does remove the corner guard out like of play, or the center guard, rather. Like I just like a hair less weight there, just to keep everything in play. Fleming throwing this. Here it comes. Lives in the Northwest Territories, but yep. All the way. originally from yep. Ontario. So during yep. this three week lighter. stint Hi, that the team has had, she's right been here, able to right visit here, family here. and friends. It's a PhD yeah, student, well, and she's I, researching I the use of satellite observations for snow monitoring in the Northwest Territories. I think uh, the Galusha team is getting caught a little bit on. Carrie's rocks are curling a little bit more on the intern, and uh, they kept the same ice for their second, and they're really trying to fight to get it to the same spot. So. Rebecca Hebert needing to get through the port. Does so Sarah? some manageable well, weight there that time. That well, second time down that path, they they managed it just a little bit better. Oh, throw here. Still open in the hole there though, so uh, nice throw required here. If if uh, the Galusha team could uh, hit and roll in underneath that yellow, that's what they're after. Again, it's uh, so weight sensitive here. It's it's important just to throw the right. Hack weight. Yeah, no. Whoa! Whoa! Looks pretty Whoa! strong. Whoa! Get ready. Get ready. Cargo, you gotta go to get it by that guard. No, we're not by. Just upped her weight on that one and kept it straight. Certainly coming in at a faster speed than some of the others we've seen in that spot and does not get no, the curl okay. needed. She's just a little out. So Jesse's calling one in behind the two uh, corner red guards. And then she'll hope that uh, Galusha's team doesn't hit and roll in behind the guard on the, on the one on the forefoot. To drag it, trying to curl it over. It's 
pretty nice. It is uh, half buried, maybe two thirds buried. Actually, I don't mind throwing board. Just gonna throw a board weight here. Pretty important to get a little uh, hit and roll underneath. We've seen Sarah yeah, Colton make some red, so. stellar yeah. shots so far in this game. Yeah. Yeah. The Galusha team looking for another one here. Yeah, hey, hey. No! Margo, we're nosing. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, good, Sarah. Not getting Again, that that's roll that they were hoping yeah, that's, for. That was firm board yeah, weight. And uh, just, okay. just throw, you know, Three or four feet less, and just give it a chance to break Ten a little five. bit. Ten five. Easy up Ten here. <laughs> I never miss a shot from this <laughs> seat. Nice That's what I love. Nice though. Darn. Looks like it was going to go again. Oh. Yeah, we were on nose the whole entire time. Oh, okay. Well. Oh. Like the whole way. And a lot of weight coming here. Kristen Streifel wanting this one to stick around. Will do as well. Nice separation between these two rocks. I like the intern. Sure. Do you want to throw here? It'll run pretty straight. <laughs> So Joanne's going to go for the hit and roll underneath here. Maybe, uh, yeah, I guess the angle, I would say, would hit and roll to the back button. Needing this one to definitely stick around. Hunkins in a very good position at this point with those two separated rocks. Well, it's tricky because... Uh, if Joanne happens to hit this on the nose, you're going to give Jesse a chance to hit and roll under cover, and then and then Joanne's looking at giving up three back right back. All right, so we yeah. see the nose hit here now. Just as you mentioned here, a chance to produce a three-ender if they could hit and roll this one nicely in behind cover. It's setting Hunkin up for a pretty good opportunity. You got two different rolls you can work on here. The, the, the number one option is to roll to the top of the forefoot. But if it happens to overcurl or be a little narrow, you can roll it way over underneath the other red ones and uh, would make a difficult shot for Joanne. She could freeze down in here, but still difficult. Anyway, number number one option is definitely hit and roll to the forefoot, either fully buried or partially buried. Sometimes I don't like when it's fully buried because the, the opposition rock is pretty close out front and they can smack it right back on the nose. If it's just a, a like three quarters buried, they can't do that. Shifts off the angle just enough to make it a little more difficult. Tiny roll, but that's really fun. But I don't see what else we have. I don't either. Heel? Like hitting and rolling doesn't. Does it get any shot even? No, it doesn't. You have to roll really big. Do I have enough air? I think so. I think so. Yeah. It's like a quarter? It's a quarter. Okay. Yeah. Let's make it, Joe. Yeah, the call here is to uh, do a cross house double or at least roll over and, and stay frozen on this red rock. Pretty skinny. Reasoning behind that, the, the hit and roll, you're going to be rolling into that top eight foot, but doesn't you won't be able to get shot out of it, so they need to do something a little more drastic with this throw yeah. and the angle is real nice here she just threw it down this path joanne rizzo with her last here yep. Whoa. Yes. Yes. throwing some weight Whoa. big weight 
Margot Fleming on the sweep. One. Okay. Just going to roll over top. Oh, just a little over curl. Nice attempt. So Jesse's going to have a stress-free draw to the house for two. Take the lead again. <laughs> Lots of room here. Opportunity to get two out. back in a. It's been a very high-scoring game so far. When I say stress-free, it's always stressful as a skip, but <laughs> for us, it's stress-free. Good opportunity to gain some confidence here, getting a good draw. Jesse throws that rock nice and straight, so you don't have to worry about wrecking on the guard too much. It's just, it's all about weight. Nice shot. Two red, two for Jesse Hunkin from North Battleford, Saskatchewan. Going to take a 4 3 lead now over Kerry Galusha. That'll wrap up the fourth end here. Looking around at the other sheets, we have, of course, two other C final games. These teams all on their last life in must win situations in order to advance to the final qualifying game for a home hardware curling pre trials. Corey Chambers, who was on the ice earlier today, who lost this morning to JT Ryan, has a 2 1 lead over Winnipeg's Sean Grassy, both those teams from Winnipeg. And then over in the, the women's C event final, one more rock to come here, but Jill Brothers has a hit for one. That would tie the game up with Caitlin Jones. Jill Brothers, of course, of Halifax. We'll let you know how that one ends here right away too. Follow along with all the scores that curling.ca slash scoreboard. All scores updated in real time, so as soon as we know the scores, you are alone knowing them at home as well. Dana Demers now. So a little change here in strategy. She's calling for a tight guard, which then Joanne Rizzo will have to decide if she's going to come around the center or throw up a corner guard. And around the center we come. Dragging that one for all it's worth. Nice shot. Gets a good amount of it covered in behind there. Good speed, girls. Jesse's decided to come on the out turn here and. Uh, anything. No wonder I was so heavy yesterday. Like I'm barely throwing anything. Try to freeze around. With this turn, I guess it would be more buried if they make the shot perfectly. Can't be heavy. <laughs> Hard line, where are you? Keep. Eight foot, eight foot. Walk 
it on. Lock it on. Lock it on. Lock it on. Go, 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 go. No, that's a real nice shot. Wonderfully done. So <laughs> Rolling that, putting it in same. just perfectly. This five will run longer, hey, than my one. I don't care, he just has to throw one down there. It's exactly like the first one. You know what, it's still fresh on that side coming in that deep. I think that's lighter. That right. one's lighter. I think it's lighter, but it's okay. Where? Yep! Hard line! Yep! Hard line! Hard Margo! Hard line! Put it there! Hard yeah, Margo! Push! Right to the red! Right to push. the red! Push! Really hard! You gotta go! You gotta straight. go! Hard, really hard, straight, hard! Straight, 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 straight. Good. Okay. Ooh, really good. I'm making nice good work. Good you sleep. Even that button is okay. Yeah, Carrie knew she had thrown that one lighter. The girls got on it. Good communication on her part as well to let the ladies models. know. Like Mata. No wonder I was so happy yesterday. <laughs> Looks like Jessie's coming all the way around, or okay. did she call the freeze on her own? I missed that. Looks, I mi missed that as well. Looks like the coming around, I believe, though. Wow. Well, ours, ours go, though. Go yeah. Got room. We will see. Yeah, trying to come around to the back back button, trying to bury it. Can't be too heavy here. Needing to get around. Wow. Oh, oh. Shot. Wonderful nice shot. shot from Rebecca Hebert. Wow. Skinnying that red rock there. Yeah. Uh, they're back there. So T line. Top <laughs> button. So Carrie's decided to follow it, and if they make the shot, they're in good position. Could if they, it on if they don't, however, there's trouble. So you could uh, you could decide to clean up the fr front a little bit. When it's diving, oh no, short. It is, yeah. But as we get more rocks, we're getting to host it. Yeah. Carrie, though, asking Margot to. Hit the button here, lock it on, and could be in good contention. Lots of room. T T, let's have T. Needing this one to curl. Not even close for line. Whoa! Whoa, Joe! No! Stop! Stop, Joe! Stop! It's heavy. Nice one. Okay. Pretty nice shot. Pretty good overall. Top button. Top four is okay. So what? Wait then. I can give you an update in the C event like women's final. Caitlin Jones stole a point. Jill Brothers, her, her hit rolled out to the wings just a touch too far. They had to measure. She takes a 3-1 lead now. That is uh, Caitlin Jones who takes the 3-1 lead. So the hunkin team here is just trying to come down into that pile. Shorter is better than deep. Yeah, we're good. We're reaching it. Looks it's real nice. Yeah, yeah, Tina, hard. Hard, Tina, hard. Hard, 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 hard. Right by. Wow. Locking it on. Yeah. 14-5 again. Can you see any of that? Okay. Now if they could get back there, that, that yellow rock does look it's a little uh, vulnerable as well, where there is an opportunity like to, it, to like move the house around a little bit. But that was an exceptional yeah, shot. Nice yep. so but it doesn't really do much, though. Yeah. Really this is really nice. Back line. Peach. It's getting a little messy here. That's uh, putting the pressure on the, on your teammates to. Make really tough shots here. But they've been making them, so let's go at it. This is tight. Backline wait. No. Really needing to hold this line. I'm going to touch the front guard. Okay, good. 
Shooter rolls out into the corner there, but okay, so not, yeah, not a little tight years. from the get-go. Right and Hunkin now has an opportunity to, I think they'd be happy to guard all day now at this point. Just guard it up. Still lots of rocks to go in this end, though. Mine's good. Well, easy, 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 easy. This is way out there. Okay. Easy. Easy. No, no, no. No. Uh, yep, yep. Really needing it to bend now. Yep. Could rearrange those front ones a bit. That would be great. Good. Takes away that raise option. Yeah. Or that bump option that was available for Galusha. Yeah, I think that well, they they didn't uh, they didn't come over and guard what they wanted to guard there. I don't think, and they came a little deep. So this is gonna this is gonna give the Galusha team a chance to run that red one right back into the red on the on the forefoot and clean it up a little bit. things up there. Yes, it did. Same, a little higher. The angles, the angles aren't good for the Galusha team right now, though. I mean, even if, even if uh, they get a chance to hit that yellow one on the top 12, that the red one jams back into the yellow on the back nice forefoot. So, Hunk and team okay. just going to guard this up again. Yeah, their yellow rock certainly would be the odd one out in any type of impact that comes in there still taking lots of ice here lots of ice and i think they're expecting yeah, it to yeah, be less yeah. weight than what was thrown last time as well not wanting it as close to the house this ice is so nice the sweep the sweepers can put the rock wherever you, wherever they want to <laughs> Trouble with running this yellow one in here is I think, I mean, red like could be yeah. lying too uh, after the shot. Like no matter what we do. And yeah. partially buried. It's, uh, I don't okay. know. Yeah, there's no guarantee that the rock you're running in is gonna is yeah. going to stick around. You yeah, did it just right. Yeah, they're not gonna do that. They're they're gonna run this back in again. And and option B would be to. Uh, be a little wider and yep. peel off the, the the red and the yellow at the same time. Have a little tighter eyes. Sarah Colton hoping to open things up. Sarah can throw it hard here. Her last one was uh, sailing down there. I have a feeling she's going to make the shot. Yeah, just no curl there with okay. option B. Just getting, not bad. Getting cleaner. Okay. <clears throat> they, can, they can still throw the same guard because the angle, the, the, the yeah. angle of that red one on the yellow at the back yeah. is in yeah. their favor. So really they, can sh they can show the outside corner, but uh, <laughs> just don't show this, this other side. Tightening up the ice a touch, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jesse throws it a little straighter than everyone, everyone else, so it uh, takes a little longer to curl. Like halfway, but a 
she's starting any of the better than I do around. Line wise, like this one's off the center line. I just hate for you to be looking at three. Like if we miss, like if we come this way. Yeah, it's a pretty good path, eh? Okay. And you're looking at three barely. Maybe four. Because she has another rock. But I mean, right now we yellow. can't. Right now we can't score. So, so Jesse Hunkin here going to throw her first of the fifth end. Would love a steal to head into the fifth end break. Line's great. Line's good. Line's pretty good. Line's good. Looking Close. for a halfway guard. Line, Line looks really good here. Becca, Tate. And to say you can oh, leave oh, the oh, you can oh, leave oh, the oh, one oh, side oh, open. Oh, that's okay. You need to block the outside of that rock, that red rock, and it looks like they'll wow. do that successfully there. Mm -hmm. Really good. Very nicely placed rock. I don't know. I don't know, but just I, I think they may have to just run this back again. I. They try to play this one here in this on the uh, center. They they could give up too. But we should be second shot up here, and then she'll probably guard, and then we don't really have anything. However, if so Joanne can come run. down and tap this one on the button, tap it back about four or five feet, yeah. then it, it if she can access that on her last shot, she can score one with the, the angles we set up Same properly. Way, sure. yeah. I don't think yours will run it like hers did. No, nah, that's what okay. I thought. They're going to run this back. That's... <laughs> Hoping to clip this one here. Run it back into the pile. Move things around. Did you think my first came a little low? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was. Big peel, Joe! So expect to see some weight being thrown here by Joanne Rizzo. Yes, I called it. Okay, yeah. I thought, I just wanted it to hold out there because I knew the thing was going to be in there. For sure. And I was like, yeah, I was just worried. Yeah. Whoa! Yep, right off. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Same thing. Any kind of any kind of push or momentum outward, it just stays there, it hangs. It's just not gonna curl with that weight. Really has been the case for everyone who's been throwing like that so far. I almost have to take the broom okay. on the okay. inside yeah. of the rock, inside middle, and throw it right back to the middle. So we'll see Jesse Hunkin try and place it exactly in the same spot that she just did. Try to get past that four or beside it. And that would leave Carrie Galusha in an awfully tight position. Yeah. Yeah, the guard's the call here. You could you could freeze to the low side of that red rock and there there would be no shot for Joanne, but you know, I just threw this guard. I don't. Line's I don't good. think Joanne has a shot for one if she throws the same guard. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Clean it. Easy, easy. Line's oh, getting a little tight. No, no. Oh, no. no. I think so. You're gonna have to just needing this one to sit. And mm. It's definitely and it's further over. Now. Yeah. yeah, it's open now. Well, right. oh, not I open, but it's it for yeah. one. So, that top red rock on the button is definitely accessible now. You could throw a screamer and pick it. <laughs> With some pinpoint accuracy. How much can you see of that? Oh, really? Should be able to see a piece. Margot Fleming coming down to the hack here it, just though, to, to check big. how much can be seen from the hack from that guard. This one, and then if it okay, so can see, we can see a few. Could have just had you guys you know I mean? Yeah. Like if it goes click, click. Yeah, that you works too. too. Yeah. Is that what we're trying to do? If you can <laughs> throw this hard I enough. I don't think I can hurt myself. Like uh, Jason hey, Gunlison or I've seen Wayne Madaw do this yeah. over the hey, years. He'd be down on the hack throwing this already. Just, just. Throw it 100 miles an hour. Just click that 
top red one, and and then it would go back and hit the back yellow one. The yellow one hit that red one out, and he'd roll over and jam on the other yellow and he'd score two. Score two. And then smile at you. <laughs> Sounds like that might have actually <laughs> happened to you at one point. Oh, no, I'm not saying that, no. <laughs> yeah, it was good. So based on this ice, it, it looks like that pick is, is what they're looking for. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if they can score. This is a tough shot here to score one. But this is all they have. And I don't see the risk of giving up two here. Whoa, no, 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 no. Needing it to fall out, but now needing it to curl. By the tarp. A valiant attempt there. Really close try. try uh, Joanne Rizzo attempting to pick that out. So close, just a little short. So that will result in a steal of one for Jesse Hunkin here at the fifth end break. Takes a 5-3 lead now. And we'll be back in about five minutes or so for the second half of this direct entry pre-trial final game. Winner moves on to the home hardware curling pre-trials and we'll catch you again very shortly. Get your tickets now at curling.ca.
to the pre-trials direct entry AB final here for a game between Kerry Galusha and Jesse Hunkin. Winner will book a spot into the home hardware curling pre-trials in Liverpool, Nova Scotia. Hunkin been having a great game so far, leading 5-3 over Kerry Galusha. I'm joined here. I'm Kyle Jans, by the way, from Curling Canada, joined by Brian Cochran, world senior gold medalist, two-time Briar participant. Brian, if you were you were these teams, what would you be discussing over the fifth end break as we uh, get ready for this second half? Well, I think both teams have had their chances. There's Don't touch no that. one's really Don't outplaying touch it. the other, so. Don't touch it regardless of which team you're talking about okay, there goes, it's yeah. just like let's let's keep at it here keep talking keep communicating about you know what's happening with the ice and the rocks and uh just give it your best shot here you know joanne's team uh you know they scored a great three there in the third end and um they were a little unfortunate though the way the rocks lined up in the last end they never really got a chance to uh, to get scoring going and uh, they were chasing so it's just you know trying to put the rocks in the right place here uh, this end and trying to score two and tie it up. And as far as Jessie, you know, she'll play a little defensive. She's got a two-point lead playing the sixth end and um, she'll, she'll make uh, she'll make Joanne uh, come to her and uh, if she can uh, if she can put any kind of pressure on Joanne here uh, and their team, you know, uh, steal another point here would be huge. But uh, you have to realize you've got control, so, you know, keep that in mind. And uh, Joanne, same thing. I mean, Joanne wants to score too, but uh, it's important that she scores. Is that top eight or top four? Kerry Galusha skips the team, throws lead rocks. Fourteen Scotty's Tournament of Hearts appearances, including a handful of alternate appearances and pre-qualifier events as well. One of the most decorated Canadian women in, the, in our sport in curling. Also has won a silver medal and a bronze medal at the Canadian Mix with her brother Jamie. Nice shot. That. Could peel this uh, yellow one out, but uh, Jesse decided to throw a long guard and uh, get the action going here. Yeah, halfway. Don't want to touch it. We've seen lots of rocks in play throughout this uh, throughout this game so halfway. far. I don't expect that to change much in this second half either. Yeah, As you half. mentioned, Jesse Unkin would be thrilled with a steal and. Mm. Looks to be orchestrating that or attempting to at this point. Yeah, this this rock unfortunately is going to overcurl, so it's going to allow uh, Carrie to play a little tap in here and get a couple rocks in play. Oh, wrong again. Yeah. He's going to clean it up. I think maybe a history or the the last end there. They did get themselves into a little bit of trouble, leaving those center guards up. So. Yeah. That could have maybe have an impact on the decision here as well to for Margo Fleming to peel one out here. Yeah, I thought I thought you could have uh, come in one more time and then then if she's in trouble to clean it up. But okay, hey. okay, yeah. <laughs> again, you you want to try to you know you want to try to put some pressure on the other team when you get a chance and. Although I did say you want to make sure you score one, and putting another rock there is like ooh, a little messy, but it's still early in the end. went over which it will but see now now to me now now carries committed to cleaning it up especially after yeah. throwing that first one have to ignore that 
opportunity to raise up. Might be there a little bit later, but you're absolutely correct. It seems like they've committed to this game plan and we're gonna have to stick it through. We'll see Margot Fleming get that peel, sweep it over for a corner guard. So they have two corner guards now, but that one center guard in front. The problem with that is, uh, you know, that, that one corner guard the closer to the house, the yellow corner guard, that was slashable, you know, if you needed it, but now it's covered. This is this is great for the Hunkin team. They're throwing no like non pressure shots, throwing the guard up. This is Kristen Streifel's rock. Had mentioned earlier in the broadcast the 2017 Canadian Junior Gold Medalist went on to win bronze that year. Okay. Also so participated down. in the uh, University yeah. of Alberta Pandas program and their curling program competed and won gold at, tw at the 2016 and 2018 U Sports Championships, getting a chance to represent yeah. Canada as skip at the 2019 oh, University yeah. Games as well. Sarah Colton jams it back. I think they were hoping for a double peel there. Well, and not only hoping for a double peel, but if, if they would have stayed a little wider, the angles were actually lined up where you could Peel both red ones, and the second red one closer to the house was going to come back and hit the yellow and boom, boom in the house here. And uh, that was a, that was a good opportunity. Unfortunately, I left an, another center guard up there, and it's a long, hard chase here now for the Galusha team. I think they want to put a, a guard right in front of the one they currently have. They don't want to leave that angle. Looks pretty good. Dana Demir is sweeping this one right over. Yeah, and then she realizes she left the last one on a, on a bad angle. Yeah. Good finish. I think it's a little of my side. The same way. Still a chance here, though. Hit yeah. these two red ones back onto the yellow one, and uh, yellow onto the red, and then, then red will be yeah. lying one. Sounds easy. <laughs> easy in principle. In practice, something completely different. Sarah Colton yeah. is a medical student. Yeah. Bouncing that in a competitive curling career, I'm sure has its many challenges yeah. and commitments. Yeah. Doesn't get the run back there, but that's a pretty great shot in being able to eliminate one of those corners as well and re really change the scope of this end. Takes a little pressure off. Cleaned it up a bit. Jesse's just going to throw another half halfway guard. I mean, and Jesse knows. She throws the guard. There's no way in for uh, Joanne Rizzo to draw. Both both draws are, it looks like, both draws are taken away by the corner guards. Could maybe come out, come around the way outside on the out turn and uh, maybe get a piece of the forefoot, but it'd be open. Be a pretty, yeah, very difficult draw to make. Who knows yeah. if it'll even be able to bend in enough to, to get shot out of that too. Uh, so Jesse Unkin here, hoping to play a center guard or just on, just off center guard, halfway in the free guard zone. Again, good feeling here. You've just seen four rocks down the same path. Just lay it out there and let the sweepers put it where you want. You don't have either draw right now. I don't think. Just don't be heavy and don't be light. <laughs> it's an easy game. Dana. 
Looks nice. Yep, Dina, yep. Dina, yep. Nice shot. Even with like back line. Bump that to there? I don't know. Very nicely placed, right in line. I don't think there's any choice here. You have to run this back. Galusha and her team were looking at maybe back line coming around that porch on the left hand side, but that corner guard there in the way. This, I mean, this curls so hard. We can do that. I can't see very much of it. But no, I know that, but it, I don't think that matters. Also not even being able to see this, this yellow may be in the way. really enough of that. This is tough here. You know, Carrie Car Car wants one shot and Joanne wants the other, but Joanne's well, throwing like this, it. It's but we have to make it That's or it. else we're not probably scoring. Play it. Not very much of that red one I can see to play back line. We got a hit. I think it's pretty important for the thirds out there to, to always realize, get a feel for even what the skip is thinking and you know what they've what they've done so far and how they're feeling and if they see a shot, hey, just let them go for it unless it's right off the the map as far as strategy. But I've had a few of those apparently. We all get crazy ideas. Right off and really needing this one to curl now. Yeah. Roll it, roll it, Sarah. Okay. And that will just be a straight peel from Joanne Rizzo. Yeah. Same shot for Jesse here. Throw the same guard. Okay. And the Rizzo team's gonna have a or the Galusha team's gonna have a hard time scoring. Besides that third end where, where Galusha scored three, Humpkin has really maintained control of this game, I would say, and have really set the pace, and, and the Galusha team have been left to chase for, for much of it. Well, I, I take this back to, uh, you know, what I said early in the end, Galusha team had a chance to tap that yellow one back on the, on the 12 foot and have two yellow one play and, and make Humpkin think a little bit. Um, but she committed to peeling off that stuff really early. And she never had another chance, really. Jesse Yunkin needing this one to curl in. And that well, one came a little closer than they anticipated. And that one's deep, but it, it curled to a point where now she can't run it back and stay, I don't think so. Is that fair then? She could maybe yeah. peel them both out in blank. That's not easy either. Definitely not an easy shot. I, I don't but just where that rock end up, it looks like it curled up just enough to disrupt that, that angle and that direct run well, back. No, you have to play it off the red, Joe. That's the only way it's here. You have to play it off his red. Like you'd have to throw like back here and just tick. And it, you can't play wide around that, right? It doesn't carve enough? No. no. Either that or that. This is where it's good to have a little uh, yeah, spinner in your repertoire. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be a real spinner. Just good rotation. Throw it at the middle of that, that long guard and just let it skinny by there. and It'll come to the forefoot or just rub off that one in the... But if you throw a quiet handle here, this shot's real tough. That probably won't even move it. I think this is here with like back here and we just play off this. Try it. So make sure we're at least T. Sure. That? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's an option. Sure. Yeah. I think I gotta play less weight to try and stick it though. Because we're only gonna be hitting half a rock. Yeah. I think sticking it if they throw this long okay, angle right, ready? sticking it would be a this? huge bonus. Just getting it out and, and scoring sure. one would be mm -hmm. real nice. 
So initially, Galusha's Where team was looking at throwing a draw and kind of spinning it off of that one in the top four foot for one. Uh, Fleming, I believe it was, Margot Fleming had brought yeah. up this long angle raise that um, you'll see Kerry Galusha looking at right now. I think the out. Hoping to remove that, that red shot, in. sticking the sh raised rock in would be a bonus as well. I think they're both pretty equal. Because they don't want to throw too much weight at this because they would like to try and keep that um, raised like rock around. Out. Well, yeah, but the thing is, you you know, for me, you just put the broom down where you want to hit it and throw enough weight that it just stays right there. Hmm. You don't want to be playing with too much curl here. Just boom. Big shot from Joanne Rizzo here. Angle raise. Close. Okay. It's perfect. Beautiful wow. shot from Joanne Rizzo. Angle raise takeout for two. Tying this game up at 5 5. That's a grin remover. That one. Well, I thought we actually missed. Really? You and really held that? I thought that was over Curly. Just look at I the body language, the discussion now, no. right after making that shot. No, you no. can see their faces light up, and they, they really needed that shot. I didn't even We've got a ball game, as they would say. Yeah. Looking around at the other sheets here right now. Again, we have uh, two... Semi t two seaside final games going on. Uh, Caitlin Jones from Assiniboine, Manitoba, leading 4 3 right now over Jill Brothers from Halifax. The winner of that game will play the loser of our feature game here between Hunkin and Galusha. And then over on the other side, Corey Chambers leads Sean Grassy, both teams from Winnipeg, leads them 4 2 in that seaside final. The winner of that game will get one chance at qualifying for the home hardware curling trials against the loser of uh, Vincent Roberge and JT Ryan. And that game's going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. Little room for error there, with, especially with that uh, uh, grassy counter that I think was right on the forefoot is there as well so it needed to roll it very precisely go early margo go early okay we're okay there it goes line's good line's fine line's really good right to center right to center go hard yep right to my broom right to center really good nice one Very consistent with it. That's exactly what you need in a lead. I'd argue they throw the most important rocks. <laughs> no, no comment. No comment. But they are important. <laughs> they are very important. Yeah, that's, that's pretty close. Teep, teep. Just in case my lead is listening out there, I, <laughs> right I don't want to say the most important but of importance. Very. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Jesse Onkin's team um, opting now with Hammer to play this one right into the ranks. We have to, eh? We don't want to give up. That's yeah, I don't know. I, it's, We're you have to know when you make this call. Rizzo's going to totally ignore it because she needs, she needs a point like to... Take control yeah, back of the game, so she's coming. Here. She's coming around. Earlier in the game, yeah, she 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 hit that. Uh oh. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I do. Well. Is that good? I'll try to give it like a nine five. I know what Joanne's thinking. Yes. Kerry <laughs> <laughs> Galusha, the skipper. Yeah, you gotta go. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wanting to play a takeout instead. Needing a hard sweep from both of them. Hard for nose. Hard for nose. Makes the nose hit. We're a little short. 
I think we're a little short. I think I don't, the thing I don't like about that call at this time of the game is that it this makes it easier for for the Hunkin team. They hit. Okay. Just saying, to hit it. There's only one rock out front. You know, it's there's not much pressure yeah. on them. Certainly okay. need to rely on a miss here. Yeah, they, they don't want to hit and roll here. They just want to keep it right there. Because if they hit and roll to the back of the forefoot, the Galicia team's just going to freeze to it. Game on at that point, especially when yeah. it's in that back four. Ten? Okay. Margot Fleming joining this team last season. Hard more, uh, Joe. Hard Joanne. Roll it, Sarah. Okay, that's good. Nine three. It's regularly Nine for Carrie Galusha. Shona Barber had stepped away, retired from the team, although Carrie Galusha ended up bamboozling her back into the mix. Yeah. Played as a spare. Joined the team at the 2021 Scotties in the Calgary bubble. You'll see her behind the scoreboard here as a coach Ten. tracking some rocks. Hard for a piece. Right out, right out, right out, right out. And Carrie Galusha sweeps this one out, so that one just over curling on them. Nice. Just like a this sort of angled the release in, you know, and it takes off. Yeah. So here we go. We get to draw around that center guard. Yeah. Just as planned. <laughs> Drag this as far as they can. Go, 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 go. Okay. 15, one, nine. Half covered or so Comes looking based on hog. this monitor. Could be a little different when from the hack. Definitely accessible though. Yeah, Jesse's just gonna play a little bumper shot. Just quiet wait. Come into the one on the on the eight foot and uh, hopefully roll to the to the wings out in the twelve foot. Hunkin team laying the brush down from the get go. Don't know if that one spun in there. No, I don't think so either. Nice shot, but just that little extra weight made it roll out. Can't be overstated weight management and how important that is on this kind of ice and with these rocks. Sarah Colton now. There's three Scotty's Tournament of Hearts appearances. With the no Northwest Territories and then also with the combined Territories team back when the Northwest Territories and Yukon would share one berth entry. Also has a handful of entries in the pre-qualifier events uh, representing Yukon. In between there. Good. That one's looks to be pretty nicely tucked First away behind seven. cover. Yeah, I'm gonna have to peel this off here and hope for a miss guard. Yeah. Carrie came that way too though. But you just got in the middle a little sooner and it went bleh. Yeah, true. That was beautiful. I didn't get it, sorry. I didn't hear it, I mean. Do you like a little more? 
Now to throw the perfect guard. Yep. They're on the button, hey? Yeah. Which can be okay. difficult unto itself. Well, when it's this fast, you, you really have to concentrate so much on your push out and your and your release that. Uh, hey, line's a little go harder. Go 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 Except if you just get it out Good there, the, the good thing is the sweepers can drag it a long way. Needing this one to curl over. Oh, very nice, Sarah. Nice shot. Really well placed. Okay. Good good okay. Jesse okay. Hunkin, though, thinks it's close enough to give the run back a try here. I wanted to give a little more. Straight peel instead gets rid of it. Just like that, we find ourselves in a similar situation as last end with a lot of the, the guard peel, guard peel. A few less rocks in play though this time around. How the game has changed with that great angle raised by Joanne Rizzo. They were looking sunk in many ways up, there, like the first up until that shot and then now here they're in good good shape to steal one here this end Did you like that throw or was it's that been a few momentum good? shifts in this game so far right from the steal of two right at the beginning to the response of scoring three so having that momentum and keeping it He's going to be so critical here in this last four ends. They have to go, Sarah. Just stay close. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, finish. Finish, Margo. Finish. The rock looks like it's just crawling down the ice. Wow. Snail pace speed. Needing to get it there. Needing to get it closer to that center line. Okay. Very nice. Good. It is. One eighth mm -hmm. open, one quarter little, open. Little exposed yeah. there, yeah. I'd say about a quarter. I think they're going to give it a run. Ah, close to perfect. Oh, yeah, you've got man. a third. Yeah. It's hard. It's like they, they, they do, like they. Yeah, I like that, Jesse. You got it. They thought it was lighter. <laughs> oh yeah. So then. They yeah, Jesse Hunkin will be going yeah. for this. No, yeah, Jesse's going to play uh, probably just hack weight and uh, come in just yeah. enough to hit that yellow one out and, and her shooter will stay over in the in the back eight foot somewhere. It was very good shot. Delicate shot, but makeable. Jesse Hunkin coming into this game with little fear, making a pretty outstanding take out around the around the corner guard cover there early on in this game to really set the tone Rebecca Heber trying to curl, curve this in just flashes. Well, right now, well, can she get shot over here? Real, yeah, real nice release. I guess just a there. hair too much so ice. Maybe we just put yeah. a guard up there. Sure. I believe she might have asked for more ice once she got yeah, down yeah. in the back. I know. Back. I heard that. Yeah. Sure. You like that? Yep, yeah, I do. I'll, yeah, I'll throw the same. Yep. Just be careful. In case it comes in, make it yeah. So it looks like a guard here. Right that would be the button, so. ideal outcome for Joanne Rizzo yeah, on this shot. Pass. You don't like this, eh? We can do that. Pardon? That I'm fine with that. I like it. Okay. If she draws for one, that's fine. What'd she say? Well, they've changed the call here Pardon? now that... Uh, All right, so change in call here. Top eight is what they're hoping for. 
And they'll want to bury it because they don't want to leave uh, Hunk in a double. So they want to bury it in the top eight and, uh, you know, look at us stealing too. But the downside is you're leaving Jesse uh, a draw to the button for one. So it's a choice here because if you threw the guard, there'd be no shot for one. The best that Hunkin could do is throw a run back and maybe peel. An aggressive call here from Galusha. Fleming and Colton on the sweep. Yep, yep, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Go, 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 go. Good. Really good, Joe. Really nice. Burying that in very well. No double available. So Jesse Hunkin here needs a good chunk of the button to score one. And this is the first big pressure shot that Jesse's had to throw in a while. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks. I was okay with Hammer coming, going home and Sounds confident. Yeah, it's very small. She'll probably make it, but then we have Hammer or one it's down okay. and eight. Hammer Keep and the pressure on. Yeah. Lord knows we've had enough of it the first part of the game. <laughs> Here comes Jesse Hunkin. Line's great. He's well out there. Line's good. Doesn't no, need the to sweepers, too closely. Sweepers just have to talk about T lines. T lines the goal. Ready. Oh. This one looks heavy. heavy. Momentum swinging further into Galusha's favor here. Steal of two and taking a 7-5 lead. In this wild, wild game we've had so far Thanks. with a home hardware curling pre-trials well, berth I, 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 on the line. It makes her draw easier, but Quite a turnaround in the last 20 minutes. Certainly an interesting call. Team Galusha opting, instead of playing the guard, switching it up while Joanne Rizzo was going to the hack. Playing more aggressive, tucking one in nicely and securing those two rocks behind cover, and that move paid off. Well, you know, I like Carrie's thinking process there. The, if Joanne, which she did, brings it into the forefoot, you know, under pressure, Jesse had to go to the button and uh, ice this fast, you know, a little extra adrenaline, boom, it's gone. And, you know, really... <laughs> The front end semi liked it halfway down the ice, but it just uh, kept flying. Galusha with a 7 5 lead. Been efficient okay, both go. with and without the hammer. Starting to go. Whoa, no, it's all there. It's all there. No straight numbers on the board, only crooked ones of twos and threes. Okay, Even though a few ends ago it didn't look like that they were going to be getting anything and then turning what looked to be a pretty dreadful situation into a pretty great angle raise takeout ah, for two. Yeah. I knew that was more. That's probably good. I can feel that now. Galusha with her first back, back button. And we're going to see oh, definitely a couple okay. of corner guards really here from lead Dana okay, Demers from Jesse Hunkins' team. Yeah, the Hunkin team just has to take a deep breath here and, uh, you know, look for a score or two. And Again, now they have to get back in the game and put some pressure on uh, on the, on the uh, Galusha team. Is that in? So do you think we go top 12 now because that's deep? I think so. That one's sliding in. just into the house. Wow. Oh. This? So is that in? Yep. Yep. Oh, here. Little less ice, though. This will be okay. straight. You'll be able to hold it, Margo. I believe this is Kerry Galusha's whoa, third whoa. hit of this game. Clean it. Curling with Clean. Yep. it's believed to be a herniated whoa. disc. and been getting whoa, a lot of physio whoa. on that. All you got, Margo. All you got, Still has the good weight, though, for that. Good. Makes it nicely and gets a bit of a roll inside and biting the top 12. I can do that. I can no 
three. Yeah, Jessie's gonna <laughs> going to use that for herself though. Five. That's uh, <laughs> that's a guard on this ice. What was that like an eight five again? Eight three. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. Oh, and I keep nosing those suckers. Nice shooting. What did you like? get on my last um, draw? That way. Fifteen mm -hmm. something. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's close. What do you like? Halfway. Halfway. Right here, just half twelve. Or tight. Yeah. Halfway on the zone. Yeah. Tight. If it slips into Christmas tree, that's fine. Okay. Definitely looking for a high corner guard here now. Yes, can certainly utilize that rock that Kerry Galusha just threw for protection too. So those are two really well placed corner guards that can be used. I don't know. Three. It's okay too. Do you want a three or a four? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think a three. Oh. Is that oh. three? There you go. Okay. Okay. I think it's just out. Okay. Yeah. 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 Three. I think it's a two. Okay, line's good. Right here. Three. We gotta go soon. Nope. How's the line? Do you want to come right Just in? Top line. twelve. We're fighting. Okay, yep. Then top twelve. We're full twelve. Okay, that's good. Fighting eight. Okay, whoa, whoa. Fighting that's eight. good. I think that's okay. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. It's a little yeah. deeper than they wanted, but uh, 15, it, it makes uh, Jesse's decision a whole lot easier. Um, she calls the double here, but I, I think it's important that they hit and roll underneath the guards. Would put a little more pressure on uh, on the Galusha team and give Jesse a, a better chance of scoring a multiple. Certainly, managing this shot rock is going to be critical. Ten. Really important to st keep your rock hanging around here. Can't roll out. Let's see where it goes. Rebecca Hebert hits the nose. So it sticks around. That's not awful though, because uh, she's right in front of the yellow rock. And or do you like board? Yeah. Okay, board. You know you're gonna have a shot. You know you're gonna have another shot at this one on the pot. You can freeze to it, you can. That's what I think. Carrie's just gonna peel us out, maybe uh, hit and roll to, to the to the wings. Hold up. Ten five. Yep. Whoa. Ten five. Whoa. Yep. Yes. Oh, busting hard. Hard. This hard. one's curling hard. in. They need to hold it. Hey, good. good. Nice one. Ten three. So clips but, that yeah, one right off on the, the back of the button. Of course, I missed it mm -hmm. again. Two rocks lined up now. Trying for the hit and roll underneath the guards. It's the best chance to score two. You could play the top and tap it back beside the the yellow on the back eight and then hope to get a crotch set up, but I think this roll is their best chance. Needing the roll over, going hard. Wow. Pretty good, really good. Almost perfect, but it, it is open with a nice, quiet uh, out turn shot down here. Same board? Yeah, about half covered by that red corner guard. However, there is enough separation there. Lots of room to curl around it here with some easy weight. She straightened that release a little bit, but just throwing great weight. All the way, no roll, no roll. Wow. Good. Out of girl. Really nice weight. You can't do it much nicer than that. Okay, so this this takeout's in the same spot as the last one, pretty much, and uh, they almost got the roll perfectly. So we're hoping for the same same idea here. Just pry one toenail off at a time. 
Kristen Kristen Streifel here. See more of this nice controllable hit weight. Needing it to curl up a it's bit. Real close. Real close. Wow. Didn't quite just missed get that it. by nothing. Just yeah. had to curl another eighth of an inch. Just have to sit too. Well, that's exactly it. It's just it's the tolerance with these rocks, right? An eighth of an inch just makes that difference. It's yeah, like unreal. So Kerry's going to eliminate this rock back here, but it's going to give the uh, Hunkin team a chance to draw around these two guards. Sorry. Sorry. Are they just going to go around, aren't they? We can play that too. Time out. All right, Team Galusha using their first time out here to discuss a couple options, whether they go for the straight hit or the draw behind to apply some more pressure. Shona Barber is going to come out coach slash alternate yeah, for this team and then we might have to freeze yeah. unless we come here first for a second for sure yeah so we, we peel it I mean, out it's, they it's, freeze i mean it's good to sit three but they're yeah, gonna i wasn't even trying i'm just trying okay. to get rid of it i know We're they're gonna two. ignore it and they're gonna draw yeah, yeah they then, will but what it would then we just follow i yeah okay unless we play this now and we're up here i don't mind that okay they might. Or do you guys? I just don't want to give them a double. I don't think so. I don't think so. If we're going to play it, we play you it on You want yours. them chasing you instead of us chasing them. Okay. That's yeah, like all this I was is thinking. obviously too deep, but like yeah. anywhere up here. Yeah. Yeah, we need second Yeah, shot. the key is to sit too. Are you guys all okay with that? It's the same. I got a, I think it's still running 15. Yeah. That's good team discussion there. The, uh, Pardon? You know, if they hit this red one out at the so. back, it's true. The hunking team just going to, it's their opportunity to draw around. If they, if they make a really nice shot, you know, all That's of a sudden totally threes in play if, if the Galusha team misses one. So they're going to uh, try to beat them to it, actually. And if they can put this, uh, a half buried on the top eight foot, it makes Hunkin's uh, shot really tough to, to score a deuce. Great discussion from the team. Good opportunity to use their first of two timeouts here late in this game in the eighth end. Okay, line's good. Sarah Colton. Room. With the throw. This Mark looks really nice anything. coming down the ice. It's wide open right now. It's, take a look. It's wide open. This has to curl really a bit more. Right whoa, whoa, whoa. 15 five. Yeah, go, Margo. Might as well. Go, 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 go. Nice way. Okay. 15 five. Pretty nice. Seem to be pretty happy with that result there. I heard too much ice. I don't know. I don't know how she, threw it. she thought she was soft. They never tell us when our timeouts are done. We need to, to know. <laughs> So I don't think the inside roll is here, and they're not going for this. Playing, they called back line, just push that one to the back 12, and uh, hopefully the, you you get a jam from the Galusha team on the next one. This looks a little heavy. Real nice line. Getting the curl. Just three or four feet heavy. Do you want to go this way, Joe? Yeah. Same as uh, Margo's through this with board. board right? I like board. Okay. Board weight. Real tough at this point for our hunking team to score, too. Not impossible, but it's getting tougher. We'll need some flawless execution and perhaps a, a little help from 
the Galusha team. Plays it quite open now, but well, that makes the roll looks like the only option is going to be a hit and roll here. So it's a good opportunity for Joanne Rizzo to really, really put it out job. on that wing and Great make way. make this roll more difficult. Some might still be uh, interested in drawing around the corner guards, and if you made a great shot, uh, that that's good. But if, if they can if they can hit this one and roll in front of the one on the back twelve on the center line, they still. They still have a chance to maybe uh, hit a double or if Joanne hits and rolls out and this Redmond at the back yeah. 12 hanging on then comes back into play. So. Still have a chance here. No, it runs, yeah. Margo. Well, I watched all theirs. Yeah. This is actually the straightest we've seen it for anything board up. Not a broom to this, and it'll just hit on the nose like for Jesse nose. Hunkin. Do you like the end now? Yeah, Jesse's takeouts like run really okay, straight. And, uh, just needs to take okay. a little less ice, I think, because her, her throw is pretty consistent. She just threw a 9.5. She throw it's gonna, if you throw a 9.5, it's not going to do anything. It's going to run dead straight. So Joanne has to hit this on the nose, and uh, the pretty much takes any double for two out. Control. However, if she rolls one way or the other, there would be a chance at a double yeah. for two. Big shot for Joanne Rizzo. Here in the eighth end, her last shot. Brooms down Sweet from right right Fleming and Colton. Good, Joe. Really good. Nice shot. Sweet. Really good. Sweet. Still one, Rafa. Absolutely no option but drawing for one here. Unless you wanted to play the Al Hackner skinny <laughs> shot there. <laughs> we saw that last night. I heard that. Mike McEwen making a similar shot to walk off and win his game. Was it a quiet weight shot or an up weight shot? He had his up weight up there. Weight? Yep. <laughs> Jesse Hunkin now drawing. Full eight will do it. Has a little backing she can come to. Yeah. Nice shot. Nice one shot. Red. Happy with that one. One red. Yeah. Bites the back of the button. Jesse Hunkin. Trailing 7 6 now. Carrie Galusha gets the hammer back in the ninth end with a one point lead. Two ends to go now in this one. Can feel the nerves building up in the anticipation with that pre-trial spot on the line here. Yeah, Hunkin's, Hunkin's goal here will be to uh, be, be somewhat aggressive and try to steal one, or at the very worst, just give up one. Of 
Jordan. Two other C final games going on in the, both the men's and the women's. Close one on the men's side. Sean Grassi, Corey Chambers tied up right now with Sean Grassi having the hammer in the 10th and final end. They're at 5-5. Five -five. Grassi had Chambers wired in that last end for a steal of three, but he just, he hit and he, he rolled out about an inch and uh, he, he gave uh, Chambers a chance at a double for one, which he made. If, if Grassi hits and rolls in one inch, there's no shot. Nice center guard to start the end. Joanne could call a little uh, tick shot here, but she's decided to come around. Carrie's had great draw weight the whole game, so why not? And in our women's seaside final, Jill Brothers of Halifax has a 7-4 lead over Caitlin Jones, representing Assiniboine, Manitoba. Ice just came in nicely there, biting just a piece of the button. That draw weight definitely dialed in for Carey. Keep an eye on the time going forward. Galusha, two ends to play. Well, one and a three quarters, I guess, just under Three minutes to go. Yeah. Or 3:47, I believe it was. I think it's 5:40. 5:47, yeah. my mistake. We're, we're just top 5:47. So the hunkin team here, just trying to come down here and freeze to it and get some action going here in the forefoot. Nice shot. Okay. Good call. Yeah, same thing. Nice, Dana. Are you sure? Take a look. Top four. If I like more. Lions really good. Kerry Galusha wanting Whoa, to a freeze onto this pile here. Trying to get it over. Yep, yep, yep. Hard Sarah. Just kisses the top red. Shoot, sorry, just too much. Yeah. Oh, they wanted to sweep that. Yeah. The in between her. Yeah, yeah. Decision here for the Hunkin team. Okay. We'll just feel on my nose. You could play this double or you could. Uh, I think so. Throw one more in there and yeah, like make it this. really exciting. Yeah. Opting for the double. Yeah, it's a good call. Gets them both. Stellar shot in. from Rebecca Kent, Rebecca Hebert. And then it didn't. Yeah, I think regardless of what Hunkin did there, I think Kerry was going to come up and take that uh, center guard off and clean it up yeah. a little bit. Hard. Whoa! Yeah. Certainly no need for it there at this point in the yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Gets one. Gets two. But that top one's going to stick around, but that's a, a great shot from Margot nice Fleming. Yeah, let's make this one real good. I wasn't sure if she said stop or not, and she wasn't yeah, continuing saying anything. Oh, I just told her to keep sleeping. I didn't know. Well, at the very least, a force of one is on. We're close. I think, yeah, we're close. Certainly be... Good outcome there for the for the Hunkin team. 
being down two with Hammer. Certainly not a big issue in the era of the five guard rock rule. A little deep. A little surprised they're not peeling that guard here again, but I'm just going to give them that same shot again. Sarah Colton needing to carve this in. Just clips nice. it. Bit of panic in the voice there okay. from Carrie Galusha, but managed to get that in. Yeah. Good, Margo. Being efficient with their time this end. A real benefit to keeping the game plan simple here in this ninth end. True. I forget that sometimes. <laughs> Gives the Hunkin team a chance to make the draw better. Still hanging out there. It's... Dana Demers trying to carve that in. Okay, we'll Let us this over here, Not quite tucked away, Brian, but no. Carrie's going to try to play uh, board weight probably, and just you know roll roll it out to the twelve foot for for shot. Yeah. Really quiet, wait. Okay, she just didn't get to me. Good wait, Sarah. Is so Carrie Galusha happy with the weight? Didn't quite get out to the broom. Tight, four feet. This is going to provide Jesse Hunkins' team with great opportunity. You want this guard fairly close to the house because the uh, the rock uh, is at the back of the forefoot or back back button, and if it, if the guard's too long, it's pretty easy to come to. It's a nice shot. Wow, big decision here. They're back button, so T line. Trying to bring one in here. When I heard them talking, they didn't want to be forced, but you don't want to give up a steal of two or three. Either. No, certainly not. Big shot here. Yep. Yes, line. Yes, line. Yes. line. Go. Yeah. Go Sarah's made a lot of nice shots here today. She'll need to make one more here. Saying it's bumping. Yeah, go, Joe. We're barely on it. All you got. Okay. Tricked up by that spot once again. Creating a bit of a pocket now. And that's the risk of uh, trying to come in and freeze. Now you've yeah, left the center guard and the hunking team is shot at the back of the button. They throw one 30. now on the top a top nine. four. It's, uh, yeah, going to be hard to get yeah, in there. Really soft, yeah. I didn't, I, I, they make I, this shot. Carrie's going to have to switch gears again and go back to the run back. I 
I mean, the outturn freeze to the button is still there. I don't know what we do now, though. For now. Again, you have to take this yellow rock right out of your vision. This is all about being top four. Mm -hmm. You just have to pretend that yellow rock's not there. Jesse Hunkin. No, it's not. With her first here in the ninth end. Line's great. So she was tight as well. Line's good. Wait on me, line's good. Is that a real nice line's one, good. Line's good. Line's good. Top line. Hebert and Demers haven't Skip left this one. Hard. Line's great. Needing to drag this for all it can go. Wow, that is a nice shot. Beautiful shot from Jesse Hunkin. Good team perfect, shot there. Perfect weight, well, yeah, great sweep, great here. communications and line call. Right. Do you want to call a timeout? Do you want it? Timeout. Okay. And Carrie Galusha now will use her Good second and her last bad. timeout in this ninth end to review some feet. options. They are once they get off. What do you guys like see? This side better but then you're just putting it on there no we have to play this side just, just throw it straight back and yeah. get rid of all the red yes pretty it's simple there. easy yeah <laughs> <laughs> save your yellow too we just have to play and it then tight i'm rolling yeah. what here and then she has it again so they are looking at a mm -hmm. well we want to yeah. try to yeah, closer center guard that's just off screen but then you're only you're playing and they're going to be there, attempting yeah. to run that into the house I think we wait. Jeez, I yeah, think I think I here, I'd be tempted right? just to throw it right back, hit it on the center line side, and I mean, wow. it is possible to to get them both out and be quite a shot. Right. Joanne's sure, already made a few of those today. What is not good? We don't want to. So we're hitting it here. All right, so the call is the run back. Just gonna throw the out turn. Wanting to hit the right hand side of that top rock so that it can come back across the face. It's just so, so little off the, off the nose on the high side. There was a look at the run and the rock that Joanne Rizzo is going to attempt to throw in. Rizzo with her first in the ninth. No, 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 no. Off right from the get-go. No, we're fine. Just, just put that yellow. back a little bit. Watch the yellow, though. Okay. So straight peel. Now Jesse has to replace that guard. Yeah. And see what happens. Now a potential steal it two would be very interesting to take the lead, but don't have that hammer once again. Oh. Hammer's been a curse in this game. <laughs> it really has. You can just hear the, the 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 chattering going on. You can just sense the nervousness and the the tension. It's a lot on the line here for these two teams. No one no one wants to lose this. They want to secure that pretrial spot as early as possible. Just to have to come out and play again can really put something on the nerves. So Jesse Hunkin. Line's good. If anything, tight. Didn't have a great slide there, but her release was pretty good. Okay, whoa. Whoa, overcurling. Looks like whoa. it's going to overcurl her a little bit. 
Just let it sit right there. Left a little piece open. Well, is it, don't we need more weight? Yeah. I think you're just throwing peel to get these. Okay. Am I going to lose that one? Jesse's guard just well, over curled there. She could have she could have left it on the other side of the rock instead of this one it. here and uh, would have been would have been better but still like a tough nine. shot here for Joanne. Looking to hit what she can see of that rock. How much can you yeah. see, Joe? Um, I've got like a, a third, a quarter. Potential to score That's one here, I'd say. That shooter won't be sticking around. No. Or jam it back and maybe get... Give up a steal of one. Been three steals in this game so far. So Joanne Rizzo with the last rock in the ninth end. Yes! 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 Whoa! Yep! Whoa! 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 Must be close. Like like it. Come on. Yes. Wow. <laughs> A beautiful one shot yellow. from Joanne Rizzo. Nice one shot. Yellow. One yellow. So that's one for Galusha taking an 8-6 really lead oh, into the okay. last end here. Very nice. Pre-trials birth <laughs> in her grasp. But first, so needs to fend off Jesse Hunkin, who will be trying desperately to get a score of two with Hammer here to keep those hopes and dreams alive and avoid playing tomorrow. Jesse's got to feel pretty disappointed over curling in that guard. Her, her slide was uh, just a little shaky coming out. I thought her release got it out there, but just handle wasn't as crisp and uh, over curled. And what was otherwise... Uh, Really well played end from the Hunkin team. Well, Carrie called that shot into freeze, and that was asking for trouble, and she got into trouble. Uh, very, very fortunate to uh, not give up a steal of two there. Galusha and her team needing to keep a close lie on the time here this end. Two minutes, 38 seconds on the clock, so they're not only competing against the Hunkin team here, but also against the clock. Can give you a few updates as we have two Seaside final games that have wrapped up. So this is the last game on the ice here for now at the RA Center prior to our 9 p.m. draw. Jill Brothers wins the C event final and is going to move into that second qualification game. She defeated Caitlin Jones 10 to four and she will play the loser of this game for that final home hardware pre-trials berth. And on the men's side, Sean Grassy sneaks out a win. He scored one in the 10th end for a 6-5 win over Chory K Corey Chambers, rather. Corey Chambers. So that knocks out Corey Chambers from this elimination bracket. Sean Grassy will play the loser of Vincent Roberge and JT Ryan, which is going to be happening at 9 p.m. tonight. And the winner of that game will be securing a pre-trials berth as well. So Jesse's just going to throw up a corner guard here. The uh, Galusha team, they tried to come into the top four foot, but they left it on the top 12, and that can, that can act as a guard later on. Not a great one, but it, it, can, it can cause some trouble. Especially on this ice, when it can curl so much with perfectly draw away. You can see that rock hasn't even stopped, and, and Joanne Rizzo has the broom down. Wanting this one to be top four, tucked away behind that top 12 rock that Galusha just threw. Fleming and Colton on the sweep, needing to hold it. Just kisses the top. The Galusha team worrying about their time. 
definitely going to be a bit I, of a distraction going into this last end. I would say they've got enough time for a couple more ends. <laughs> <laughs> Of an, and anticipation yeah, definitely picking up in this last end here. Yeah, it's true that the time is a bit of a distraction. You can hear it in their voices. Mm -hmm. Like, hurry up and be ready. And you don't want to be hurrying in this situation. No. So that rock ends up being third rock, third shot. That was from Dana Demers. Margot Fleming throwing her first now. Yeah, unfortunately that uh, Red Rock didn't come in far enough and didn't bury, so it's open for the Galusha team to play a soft weight shot and hit it out. Bundles those rocks all in together with that roll. Yeah, I think I think Jesse has to move, move these rocks around because although you could draw around it, you can't draw out turn around it because of that long guard. You'd have to come in turn, and there's just not much room there. So move this around and keep your keep your rock in play. Can't be can't be rolling out here. Rebecca Hebert. Oh. Can't stick that shooter and leaves all three in. Okay. Gives the Galusha a chance to peel this out, make the end a little simpler. Pushed out, but just clips it. Bit of a relief felt there, a yeah. sigh of exasperation from Carrie Galusha. Now Jesse's forced to uh, use these yellow ones, which are in the top top 12 and top 8, use them as guards. So she's going to come wide in turn, and uh, they'll sweep this right to the back 8 foot and try to bury it. Sweeping this one for line. On the line call. Needing this one tucked behind. Stripling to Mears. Yeah, just a little inside on the release. A little soft. And that one clips off. So Galusha asking for... Bumper weight from Sarah Colton here just to remove that one. Building I, up a bit of a yellow wall. I think she should uh, try to yeah, unlock yeah. those two yellow ones there a little bit. Maybe throw a wide intern, but she's just hitting this on the nose, I guess. Maybe roll to the inside. Sweeping from the get-go. And jams it. Unlock those two in the front, though, so... Did unlock the two, and that red rock is still exposed, but that's a good break for Jesse Hunkin and her team. And they'll use their first timeout in this A-B qualifier final. It's a good, it's a good time for a timeout, just for the, for the team uh, and the coach, just to play out the next four or five rocks. What's, what are we going to do? What are they going to do? Well, I think we freeze and then they're like moving a lot of rocks here. And then I thought they might chase four. It's pretty open. I like this ball. 
Yep, right on top. Tolerance would be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's one of these shots you don't want to be sharp, but you don't want to be heavy either. No. <laughs> there's no. not a there's not a whole lot of tolerance here. I I don't think. However, if they can nestle it right in there, it almost guarantees there too. If you ask me, I. I then the uh, Galusha team would have to bang things around and open it up and hope, hopefully they can get a double later on. Really important just to freeze that right in there. And a little last, Jesse, I think. Yeah. Critical shot coming up from Kristen Streifel right here. Yeah. You could over curl this a little bit and just touch the yellow one on the 12 foot and then roll in front of the other, but, but you can't touch the one on the eight foot. Or else they just smack it through. All there, I thought. All there, roll line. And this has got a curl. Kristen Streifel. No, it's got a curl. Got a curl. Needing this one to curl. Well, Close. But. Peel this back one out. Clean, yeah! Yes. Yeah! Right up hard. Here comes Sarah Colton. Oh, Margot Fleming oh, trying to keep this on the line. Oh, that was the risk with that shot for sure. A little surprised they didn't uh, run their own yellow one back under that red one. We'll certainly see more of that one. Eight, they ten, went for the, the si thin positive. slice, trying to hit what they could see there. Sets up a double opportunity here for Kristen Streifel, yeah. and the Hunkin team could be sitting in a very good position. They're hoping to, to make the double, but not set up an easy double back for the Galusha team. Not a broom down yet. Nope. Close. No. Here it comes. No. Locks it on. Okay. Couple of options. Left a couple of doubles, yes. No, I like the other one. Out turn. You've got options. <laughs> My first. Yeah. Joanne, I'd like to stick this. I know. Time it on first, because then we know you'll be good Half for time on your last. Yeah. One and nine? Or either. Sure. Yeah. A little more. This little is more. a tougher double, I think, than the uh, other one that Kerry was going to call. Perhaps not being time. able to see it. Yeah, I think Joanne should have. Yeah, there's not enough time. It goes back to that. They're a little, a little push for time. Close. So a lot to unpack there. Kerry Galusha initially calling for the double on those two red rocks that were at the top, but like nose? Joanne yeah, not nose. really getting a chance That's to see yeah. the shape of the house yeah. from the hack. Throw that ten five. Five. Wanted It'll to throw something that like she minded. felt comfortable yeah. with. You got it. It's not this way we might be So Jesse's gonna come through this hole and, and hit this rock. It's just just has to figure out where where is she gonna where's the best place to leave her her shooter. I think she wants to roll inside and maybe go over and, and bump her red rock maybe an inch or two. But, it, you know, it's going to leave a crotch maybe for uh, for Joanne to run the yellow one straight back and then double. So it's not an easy shot here. Or Jesse Hunkin with whoa, her whoa, first whoa, in the whoa. tenth end. Whoa! Queen! Whoa! Clean! Clean, yeah! Wanting to hit through the port. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
and a bit of an inside roll there to lock those two reds. Yeah, she left that easy, well, they I shouldn't go. say easy double, but now the run back takes, right uh, with peel. Let's go. takes the two out. Okay, finish a bit here, right? What? It's so about they 45 seconds on the clock uh, here. Yeah, and Joanne Rizzo though. going to be so playing a straight run back double. I've seen her make one of these before. Is it a nose hit? I think the Honkin team should have been sweeping nice. that rock and just bumped that out. So that it off, nice. produce. It's easy now to say that. <laughs> Hindsight is always 2020. Even if Joan makes a, a good shot here, uh, I think there's still going to be some kind of shot or double possibly for uh, Honkin team to to get to. Whoa! Clean it. No. Joanne Rizzo needing no. to remove these two. Sarah hits it, good. and there they both Sit go. Sit. Okay, good. Sticks the shooter for additional. Oh my God. 14 seconds left in the clock. Yeah, Lots, of time. Lots of time. Lots of time. Lots of time. Good enough. So Jesse just has to uh, take your time here. Draw, <coughs> draw to the 8 foot for the tie. Then we'll gr regroup. Mm -hmm. Looks like we might be seeing a little extra curling coming your way, some free curling. Big shot coming up here for Jesse Honkin to tie this game. Good piece of the 12 will do it. Here it comes. Line's good. We get more time at least. Yeah. Line's great. Holding. Sweepers like it. Curling now. Right to the pin. Line's great. You know, it's sweep important for, for the sweepers in this case to sweep right to the pin to give right the skip a look that, hey, she might need to throw one to the pin yeah. in the extra end. I love that. Just pay attention and put it right there for the skip to see. Couldn't have asked for a better shot than that. Great shot from Jesse Hunkin. Puts it right on the button for a score of two. I know. We are tied 8-8. Eight, eight. So the first women's berth available for the home hardware curling pre-trials is going to be decided in an extra end. Time resets. Each team getting in another additional four minutes and 30 seconds along with an additional timeout. Kyle, who do we talk to about turning up the heat in this booth? <laughs> that, uh, someone, We're you have Paul here, we can uh, talk we got, to somebody about we that. We got blankets and blankets. <laughs> <laughs> Been a chilly one. I don't know. I don't think Vic Ryder and Russ Howard have to deal with this kind of cold. I, I tell know. you that. <laughs> they, they, have, they have a nice booth. I can confirm that. What will be the keys to this extra end here now? Well, you know, uh, the Galusha team has last rock, so there's no doubt what uh, Jess is going to do. She's going to throw a couple of uh, couple of center guards and try to jam that up. And, and then, of course, uh, whatever center guard that Jesse throws up, um, they will try. To, they will tr probably try to uh, to pick it and roll, but. Uh, I don't know. They, they, Joanne had a couple of chances to, to to play the pick shot early in the game and, and didn't, so I don't know. Uh, Carrie said such good draw weight. She could decide to come around other than play a little finesse shot on the, on the pick. I, I'm not sure. I, I think they're going to play the pick is my, is my uh, guess. I know that's what they'd like to do. They'd like to have it open for a draw to the forefoot for the win. It's what every or, skip or a hit. Wants. Yeah. So let's see how this gets managed with Dana Demers throwing the first of this extra end. Oh no, she's not. What do you think? It's just like hi. Very trip to yeah. Nova Scotia yeah. hi. on the line. Hi, hi. Yeah, we're good. Good to be really high. Yeah. Keep it real high. 
just so here. We're good. Certainly the closest game that these two teams have played against any opponent during this, this uh, the span of this event. It's a nice shot. Over curl just a little bit. Yep. Just as you thought. A little pick Point. shot here. A little tick shot, yeah. I guess you should you call it. Go. And uh, just inside yeah. halfway. Just open up the lanes. Oh, hard! Yeah, you're close. Oh, hard. Colton and right Fleming right holding up. that right line. Up. Right up, right up, right up. Sorry, Joe. That's going to curl up a little Jesse too much. Jesse coming out to sleep. Hoping she can get it to the wall. I should have put it more Gets on it nose. back. So that one is coming it? back out. What'd you say, Jess? Hi. Or like Hi. not even tight a little Hi. bit. I slid straight yeah, down. you want to throw tight. up another another guard here. Right. Looking for a yes. tight guard. Well, oh, I see what you're saying. We can hit it more, but kind of block that right next to me. Oh, I think so. We have one more broadcast to go on the Curling Canada go YouTube page tight. for tonight. Okay. Join us at 9 p.m. Eastern for the Men's Direct Entry Trials event. Mike McEwen, Jason Gunlickson are going to be battling it out. Both McEwen and Matt Dunstone on the verge of qualifying and sitting at the top of the pools, both looking for wins tonight. Lots of potential scenarios coming out of that, so you'll want to tune in to be able to see how it all shakes out. Okay, I'll throw the same way. Yeah. Unfortunately for the Hunkin team, that slid into the house, so uh, Carrie's going to throw a little hack weight shot and try to move it around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, if you can. Sarah, 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 you got to go. Sarah. Hard, this, Sarah. this one's hanging out a bit. Hard, Sarah. Hey, hey, to curl. Go, 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 hard. Got to get it close to that center. Right, good, okay. okay, touched it. Moved it around. To get more buried, Gets it out from behind Sorry. that center guard. So here we go. Now Dave. they'd like to put this just touching the button in case it happens to still be there 10 minutes from now and uh, fully guarded, oh, which would make awesome. Joanne's draw to the button even tougher. Yeah, I think we That's the best there. case scenario at that point. We want to go when we can. Need a drop. This is Rebecca Hebert. Giant. Giant. Looking to sink this in and put her team in good contention. The team? Yep. 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 Right to the pin. A little bit back from the tee. Okay. In. We'll see a double peel attempt here from Margot Fleming. Oh, no, no, no. Sailing a little off that center line. Just right. gets the one. Good. Yeah. Good, Margo. Yeah. The fact right. that the, uh, the last draw Hopefully. went to the back of the button is still, yeah. you know, that yeah. you know, yeah. Joanne yeah. likes to see that see better than at the top of the button. Because if she has to draw, at least there's some space there. I want to make sure, and then I'm wide. So. Wait, it's good. Halfway. Just throw another center yeah. guard. Halfway. Three, four feet. Yeah. Again, you don't want to leave an angle here that they can get all three. So you want to. This has to be on the center line, I think. No, don't want to go. Stay with it. Looks poised to be curling up into the center line. Also pretty tight to the house. I don't mind this. Sorry, it's pretty thin. Yep, that same throw should do it. If you hit this thin enough, all three are there. from the get-go, getting the sweep. 
Spinning it. Oh, okay. and just jamming oh, it on the a button. A little unfortunate there. Opens up the house, though. But it brings that rock up to the it. over the pin, so it now makes it's a difference right on the now. Button instead of back button. That could be a difference it's going like on. You're not really telling it where to go. Like it's just kind of like really, yeah. You're not. I'm not seeing that outward motion. Exactly. But I honestly, with more weight, I I honestly thought you would get there, so I didn't put any more. Yeah, line a bit. Kristen Streifel Mine's looking good. for a center guard. Yeah, Dana, yep. Yeah. Okay, green Mine. zone, Sarah. We need you. Really hard. Mine, you gotta go. Hebert and Demers. Hard. With the sweep, trying to get it over. Hard. Go. Hard. This is pretty good. It's right on the pin. That one does not go. curl up enough. No. I think, I think they're just taking a little too much ice out there. They've like really hat? struggled to get yeah, that rock over to the I center line. Our shooter over here. To wait so long. Sorry, what's the wait? Yeah. Okay. Kind of teases them. So and Carrie's deciding to get that one off the high? off the button because it's, because it's on the button. <laughs> Will not be able to score otherwise for sure. So here's Sarah Colton. Oh yeah, if they roll, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, just if they roll side four. It's real nice, real nice release there. It's good rotation. Needing to get by the top. Whoa, whoa, we're on. Mm, gonna overcurl. She got to me there. Okay, I'm just gonna Good give you a seam. Just don't think that was enough ice there. Threw that really well. Yeah. Same height is good. Good release, good weight. By all indication, was on the broom too. Their chance to put this guard on the center line. Line's good. Looks a little line's tighter good. this time. Easy. Okay, line's good. Line's, line's good. better this time. Line's good. Dana. Dana. Dana looks real good. Well yep. Hard. Finish. Yep, yep, yes. Yep, go. 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 Yep. Hard. Hard. Great shot. Still, still a little still exposed. Open a hair. Yeah. Just What's a hair. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Yeah. But it doesn't look like What's it's turn? exposed enough to be able to take it from that outside. Yeah, I like to run back here. And you're not trying to peel here. You're trying to run this back and get that one off the off the forefoot. Just cross okay. your fingers okay. that there's no jam. Yeah. This looks like it'll be a straight peel. Mm -hmm. Wow, Sarah throws that so clean. I, yeah, I would, I would put it. the broom right in the middle of the rock and say, "Okay, Sarah, go mm -hmm. for it." Put it what? right there. I know, made it better. No fans in the stands here, but some of the curlers who are preparing for their 9 p.m. draw here in the trial direct entry events, as well as the pre, as well as some of the direct trial direct pre-trial rather, all gathered around watching the conclusion of this game. So Jesse overcurled on uh, on her guard and help me out here. Is that the ninth end? Ninth end, yes. So she has to just wipe that from her memory and just say, okay, we've seen four more rocks down, five more rocks this end, just throw the same thing, throw it nice and let the sweepers put it where it has to be. Line's good. Where? Doesn't matter now. Easy line. Line's good. Jesse Hunkin getting another opportunity to put her team in good position. Okay, Walt, line's okay. It looks pretty good. I may finish. have to finish this here. You gotta finish it. Close. Yep, yeah, finish. Really hard. Hard finish. We're gonna have to sweep really this, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay, Joe. Well, it's good. Okay. They had to sweep it in farther because. Uh, I think the it was hanging out again a bit too much. It's really delicate. It's 
the ice is so fast yes. and so release sensitive that uh, it looks easy, but it's not. Pardon? They yeah. just make it look easy. More options this way. I've always yeah. said they shouldn't make skips okay. throw guards. It's okay. not fair. <laughs> So Joanne Rizzo, she's made a few run back attempts so far in this game. Definitely. Needs another one right here. Yeah! Really close. Hard! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! One, two, takes it. And rolls to the yeah. wings. No, the very, the very worst. Joanne's gonna have a draw to the forefoot for the win. That was a big shot. Oh, huge! I huge. Again, Jesse's guard just, you know, they had to sweep it in tighter, just to get the line. Timeout. Jesse Hunkin up, opting for a timeout here. Okay. Looks like, like she's just taking it for time, though. Yeah, okay. Coach Leslie McEwen won't be coming out. So if she makes this, this rock. Work Where's the perfect placement for this rock, Brian? Two-thirds buried, touching the forefoot. Because if it's, if it's yeah. buried at all, Joanne's okay. not going to go after. She's just... So you want to... Get a piece of the forefoot as much as possible with it just being buried just a little. Joanne, right now, in her mind, all she's thinking about is I've got to draw to the button. I've got to draw to the button. So, what's the time? When's the last time I did it? She's not even looking at this rock, basically. Line's great. Line's good. Stay with Line's it. Good. Close. Yep. Yeah, line. Yes, line. Line's room. Room. Line room. looks. Finish. Line looks really good here. Lots of line. Got to finish. Jesse Hunkin needing to sit. Where? Shot Can rock. Okay, easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah finish. It's yeah. looking good. Hard. 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 Go, 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 go. Real nice. Real nice. Just pick it. Just a pick, doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of what kind of weight do you you call? Jeez, I'm thinking like. So timeout from yeah, Galusha's team. The Hunkin team would have liked another inch or two Barry, but you know what? They're making Joanne throw a pressure shot. This is pressure in the shot. How much can you see? Do you think half? Joanne's had a really good game though, so it's she called it right away, so she feels confident. Hey, a nine. Sorry, nine. Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. Okay. Can Joanne Rizzo do it once again? Eleventh end. Pre-trials berth on the line. And needs to make this hunk and rock go away. Yep. Clean it. Yep. 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 Hard. 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 Lemming. Colton on the sweep. Oh, wow. She did it. That was nice. Team Galusha is going to the home hardware curling pre trials, qualifying in the first spot. Running this event undefeated through the A side and winning the first qualification. The first team ever to do it from the Northwest Territories. That's a big, big confidence booster for them as well. Going into the next event, you know, going, going four and zero here, and it's a, it's a team building thing, it really is. You know, and they, they came back from uh, despair. Really, they were down, and it looked like they were in big trouble. And Joanne made that great angle raise in for two. A huge battle of adversity for this 9-8 win against Jesse Hunkin. But that's not the last that we've seen of Jesse Hunkin. She will be back in action tomorrow in a last chance qualifier against Team Jill Brothers. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you for being part of this.
We'll see you again at 9 p.m. Eastern for our final draw on Saturday here at the RA Center in Ottawa. Get your tickets now at curling.ca.